Thank you. 
Hello and a very good afternoon, a very good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. I hope you're doing okay. Hope you've had a brilliant weekend and hopefully you are ready for the start of a brand new week. The week after what was a hectic couple of weeks, wasn't it? So busy during our birthday extravaganza and it was so lovely to hear from so many of you. It was so lovely to um, see all the emails and comments coming in as to uh, just how much you enjoyed our birthday event and hopefully you managed to get your hands on everything that you wanted during that event. It was, to use Sarah's phrase, off the chart. Uh, but we are back to sort of some level of normality, I suppose, here at Crafters TV, if it's ever normal. And uh, we kickstart your Monday with a masterclass. Now, if you are uh, one of our regular viewers, you will know all about this. But uh, if you are new to us, you might not know about the masterclasses. This is all about giving you education, giving you hints and tips and demonstration um, on some favourite ranges, let's just say. And today it is all about um, cut and emboss folders. Now, I think, I mean, I'm a bearer of very little brains, but I think I'm right in saying that this will be the first time that I've actually seen these demonstrated. So I'm looking forward very much to the next couple of hours um, to see everything that our fantastic guest has to offer. What I would say is, if you uh, do want to get in touch over the course of the next couple of hours, you can do as well. Any questions, any comments, anything that you want to know. These are the shows, honestly, to get in touch with questions because then we can quick fire them over the other side of the studio and get them answered. So uh, you can get social with us on Facebook. You can get social with us on uh, YouTube as well. Get those comments in, get those questions in, and we will put them to our, um, our very special guest who I'll introduce in just a few moments time. Just to mention, if you've already got the cut and emboss folders and you've done some amazing projects and you'd like to show us what you have been doing, you can show us. There you go, email address at the bottom there, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Send in your pictures. Oh, by the way, also, I'll get to you in a minute, special guest. Also, uh, we today are looking, please, for your reasons to be thankful, reasons to be cheerful. Um, we were chatting um, earlier on today, actually, about things that we're looking forward to. Uh, obviously, in the US, you've got Thanksgiving to look forward to. Uh, I know our special guest is very much looking forward to the festive season. Um, so reasons to be cheerful, things that you're thankful for is what we want your uh, comments on, please, today. And we'll read those out as we head through the show. We are spreading a bit of positivity in what is, well, a bit of a rubbish time for a lot of people at the moment. So that's what we're all about today. Spreading the positivity, spreading the love, spreading the happiness, spreading the crafty joy, and bringing you one of my absolute favorite guests for the next couple of hours. He's my favorite male guest that we have from Scotland. It's Craig. You got it with that one very well, didn't you? <laughs> I'm the only guy and I'm from Scotland, so well done, we <laughs> yeah. like that one. But absolutely, just to reiterate what Ben just said there, you know, it's all about having fun. So by the end of the two hours, by the end of every show, if all that you've done is just gained some inspiration and knowledge and laughed, our job is done. That's all that we are after. But we are going to give you the opportunity to uh, get a few things on uh, good deals. And uh, today is no exception. It's all about our cut and emboss folders. So just giving you a bit of an idea of what you could yeah. be creating. So we've got some of our relatively new ones as well. So this one being the candy cane. So this is one that you could be getting in that filled collection or maybe you just want a few of them individually. But look at that one there. We've got some ink pads on the show. We've got some sparkle pens on the show. But then what we've also got is a sentiment one. So we've got friend on this one. We've got congratulations. So much more on the show as well. But then we've got some folders from Vintage Christmas, Glistening Snowflake. And of course, we've got rose gold as well. So that's an idea of some of the things you can be making. We'll be showing you some more finished samples throughout the next two hours. And of course, we've got a jam-packed lineup of ideas and demos to uh, bring to you again throughout Masterclass. So I'm going to get myself sorted. And I know Ben has got them, some things to say as well. No, I don't. Oh, sorry, no, I do. I do. <laughs> uh, must to say hello to uh, lots of people already already watching from across the globe. Uh, Melissa's in from Kentucky. Uh, Sarah from Melbourne, Australia. Always watching, Sarah, I know. Um, Denise and Linda and Anne. Uh, love to cruise from Hawaii. Uh, Debs from Maryland is in as well. Uh, good morning from Michigan, says Gilmore Domink. Today is the party hangover day. Yeah, if we don't seem as lively uh, as we normally do, uh, that's because of the, whoa, the after party yesterday. Whoa. Oh, tell you what, it was oh, oh, amazing. 
Ben, do you want to know how I celebrated last night? How did you celebrate last night? I was working on finished samples for this show and a few others, and I had the Christmas music on. Not only did I have the Christmas music on, I had the Christmas radio station on. They're playing the Christmas music. I was in my element. Uh, I had my fizzy cola drink at the side of me, <laughs> and um, yeah, we were crafting away. I was in my element celebrating. It wasn't a fizzy cola drink, I know it wasn't. I saw your post actually on the, uh, on the socials. I, I just tell you, you were very happy last night. He found his little Christmas radio station. He, I bet he had his Christmas jumper on, his little elf's hat as well. I bet he was jingling his bells. Uh, right, right, let's show you what we've got coming up on the show. Um, if it's ink pads you're after, we have a brilliant collection, the uh, Spectrum Noir uh, Harmony Water Reactive Set. And this is absolutely brilliant uh, because you're getting a 13-piece collection here, uh, which is going to allow you to um, use it on so many of your different projects. And what I love about this as well is you've kind of got like your little perfect partners. Um, so for example here, uh, you've got your crushed velvet and also um, your damson wine as well. So kind of two which are gonna work absolutely perfectly together. Um, but across the range here, lots of great colors and lots of your favorite colors as well. 13 pieces in total. It's quite funny actually when I say like lots of your favorites because there's lots of our um, demonstrators favorites as well. Like the honey pot and sandstorm that we've got. I'll show you that. That always tends to come. Who's is the honey pot? Who's is the honey pot and sandstorm? I want to say that's Fiona's favorite. Um, but you've got that little um, uh, range included in there. One, yeah, which always comes up um, a lot of the time are the uh, the fuchsia and parakeet. Parakeet, definitely um, one of Fiona's favourites. So that's also included in this bundle. This will be a miracle, by the way, if I get through this without knocking these over. Maybe I'll just pick up these two more. Um, so these two are also included in this bundle as well. So you've got your parakeet and then you've got your uh, beautiful oasis as well. And then also included in this collection, all of the other goodies that you can see uh, across... Stay. Stay. Across here. Uh, so you've got uh, your Chinese red, oranges in there, also fuchsia and pink tulip, and then you've got your plum jam, and also uh, you've got your Bordeaux as well. All of those, £50 or $70. So if you need to top up on your uh, water reactive ink pads, this certainly is a great bundle to go for. Now, as you said, uh, as well as the amazing ink pads, we have got a great selection of cut and emboss folders for you as well. First up, I'm really excited. I've seen some of these, I think, individually, but I've not seen this bundle before. And I'm 99% sure that I've not seen these in action before either. So I'm very, very excited about this. And this bundle is brilliant for the fact that you are going to get um, a whole host of cut and emboss folders and then when you go for the collection you're also going to get uh, stamp sets thrown in as well. So um, as you can see with these a brilliant way to create some amazing projects because the, um, the folders as the name suggests, allows you to cut and emboss at the same time. Um, and this one is really, really cute. So you've got this kind of um, honeycomb effect with a lovely little um, sort of bee embossing on there too. And the cuts bring you um, the little hexagons as well. Really, really clever. And you'll see how simple these are to use in just a few moments time. Um, next up, we've got the stars. Again, take a look at that. This is all about, I think, you know, creating really amazing projects, but also sort of taking away uh, the amount of time it would normally take you to do it because you're getting the cut and emboss in one go. So it's kind of time saving, but then you're not really scrimping on anything, are you? Because sometimes if you think to yourself, well, I'm going to take the shortcut, it's not going to be quite as good. Well, hang on a minute. Take a look at this sunburst here. I mean, that is not... Um, scrimping on anything, is it? Look at that. Um, just adding some of your um, gilding waxes on there, adding some of your inks on there as well. That really is absolutely gorgeous. Then you're also going to get included in this, uh, this beautiful open window. Look how great this is. So all of the embossing of the brickwork on like the outside of the, uh, the window there, then you've got the open window too. I just think that is absolutely stunning. Again, getting your inks on there, um, getting your gilding waxes on there as well, really highlighting the emboss that you've got and a beautiful die cut center as well, allowing you to pop in there whatever it might be, whether you want to put another image behind there, whether you've got sentiments to put into your apertures as well, it is entirely up to you. Next up, take a look at this. this 
this is your floral frame. Again, just gorgeous, isn't it? All of the detail of the emboss that you've got highlighted with the um, gilding wax and the colours on there as well. And then you've got the ability in that aperture to um, pop in a sentiment if you want. You know, pop in some different colours if you want to do it that way. So many different ways to be able to do it. And then the final um, cut and emboss frame that you have got here uh, is this beautiful, uh, beautiful window as well. Again, just adding your inks, adding your... Um, uh, your gilding wax to that to really help that pop. So it's cutting and embossing at the same time. Now those are all the folders that you're going to get, but also within this collection, if you go for the bundle, we're then also going to give you these stamps as well. So you can see these are going to coordinate beautifully with the uh, little honeycomb cut and emboss folder I showed you a few moments ago. So it's all about the bees. We love our bees in craft, don't we? Uh, just be you, you could have there. Uh, happy, you've got queen, queen bee, uh, new home, sweet home. Love the little uh, bee stamp that you've got included on there uh, as well. But that is not all. We've also got this stamp set, which you're going to get. So the stars that we had on that cut and embossing folder a little bit earlier on, that is also included. Um, again, love the stamps that you've got with that beautiful star but then you've got a uh, baby boy baby girl little boy little girl uh, made with love uh, really really cute sentiments that you've got but that is not all you're also going to receive this stamp as well and we're talking today uh, you know about uh, love joy and happiness and that's what this stamp set really is um, all about the love all about the joy hello sunshine you are my sunshine uh, and all of that is included so it kind of works out that you're getting all the embossing folders and then those three stamp sets that I've just shown you, it works out pretty much that you're getting those for free. £78 or $95. I think this is a really, really cool idea. Um, time saving, but also going to allow you to create some really, really um, amazing projects. Lots of lovely messages coming in, by the way. We will um, get onto those in just a second. Loads of other stuff on the show. As I said, we're going to be concentrating on the cut and emboss folders, but if you want to stock up on um, anything that you need at all, head to our website. It is all there at crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu and get those questions in. Anything that you want to know, anything you want to ask. If you're completely new to us here at Crafters TV, uh, get those questions in and also lo loads of messages already coming in. What are you thankful for? What are you happy about today? What are you looking forward to uh, as you head towards Thanksgiving uh, and the festive season? But let's get going with these cut and emboss folders and see what our Craig has got up his sleeve. These are brilliant, aren't they? These are so cool, so much fun as well. And then what we're going to focus on first is the uh, aperture cut yeah. and boss folders. Now these are relatively new. You know they've only just been out a month or so. And what we just wanted to explain as well, what the cut and boss folders. You'll maybe seen past ones. And what we've done is we've done uh, embossing folders where within the middle an aperture cuts out a square, a circle, rectangle. Now we've taken it to that next level. And what we've done is we've brought in the actual cutting. We say a blade that's not sharp in the fact it's going to cut you, but it actually works within the detail of the embossing folder. So this is the embossing folder that I'm going to be using. So it's the floral frame. Now if I open it up, it is, as you can see, it's like one of our normal embossing folders. Yeah. We've got this part just down here. Take away that bit of cardstock that's been left in it. You don't get that. We don't get that bit. You don't want that bit. Now down in here, this white area, so you might think, if you've never seen our cut and emboss folders before, you want to try and take that out, leave that in. It's a very light sponge. What that does is that actually protects the other side of your embossing folder. You will get a slight ingroove part where your die has met that yeah. side, but it doesn't do it any damage. It's absolutely fine. And this is the actual part which is then going to cut out. So all that outside area will emboss, and then this inside part, this will then die cut out. So what we're going to do first to start with is we're just using a piece of our smooth white stamping card. You can be using, you know, matte card, glitter card, acetate, vellum. You can use all these ones. However, we're just going to do a bit of inking. So I'm going to use my white smooth stamping card. So I've cut it down to five by seven, which is exactly the size of the embossing folder. Okay. Now, if you want to have that detail so it's facing you, because what you can then do is... Uh, there's no right or wrong side. So if you put it the way I'm away to do it, you're going to have it so that the detail is actually facing you, it's out facing you. However, on the other side, we'll, we'll show you in a moment, you've kind of got the deboss side, which looked incredible as well. So I'm just sandwiching my cardstock in and then I'm just closing it. If you want to have the emboss side facing you, facing upwards, just have it so that the Gemini logo is to the top and then that way you know that you've got it. I'm going to say the right side, yeah. but that's then the emboss side. So for your cut and emboss folders, 
What we're going to do is we're going to bring in our uh, cutting plate. I'm using the Gemini Junior for this one. These will all go through your Junior. Uh, of course, you can large the large. You can use the large Gemini. Of course, if you are getting the midi, you guys here in the US, you'll be able to use that one. Don't worry, UK, you will be soon. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm just popping that onto my cutting plate just there. Now I'm then just going to add my magnetic shim, and then I'm using my plastic plate just to go on the top. However, I am going to incorporate my metal shim as well. That's just going to give that embossed that wee bit more oomph, as I like to say. It's just <laughs> going, to, it? it's going to give it that wee bit more oomph. oomph. Yeah. I'm really going to push out that in detail. Now you can, if you're new to us, uh, or uh, sorry, if you've been watching us for a while, you know all the different techniques that we do, and you can find them on YouTube. But you can just simply do exactly what I've done. I've just run these ones through. So if I open this one here now, this is what you don't do, Ben. Right. It's your two cutting plates that you need. Ah. It's your two cutting plates that you need. Now, I know why you did that, because you wanted to show people... Absolutely. ...what not to do. You, you, you at home think that Craig's made a mistake, but no, actually, he's very clever that he's shown you exactly what you don't need to do. Now, he'll show you the right way, you see. Absolutely. I know what he's doing. And trust me, we spent, what, a good 50 minutes talking about yep. how I was going to do this for you all. But yep. just goes to show, and I know many of you <laughs> see it, you like it when uh, we've missed a step or something, because it shows we're human as well. So, what we're going to do for this one is your two cutting plates. We'll edit that bit out later on. Yeah, we'll edit it out. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Good. It's no problem. It's not as if we're live. No. Okay. So, two cutting plates, but I am going to add my metal shim again, just to give it that wee bit more oomph. So, what we're going to do is we're going to run that one through. So, the uh, plates where you use the plastic and the magnetic, that's for your 3D embossing folders. This isn't a 3D one, but it's got the die cut element within the middle. So, then we can then take these ones out. So if I then open this out and then straight away from up above, you can see that detail that's in yeah. So if I just take that one off, now that is the piece that's die cut out. Now you could try and use that elsewhere if you wanted to, but I don't need that. And then we can see here, and I'm going to come up close in a moment just so that I can show you. And then you're going to be able to see all of the emboss within that white cardstock. We Fantastic. are going to add a bit of ink in a moment. Yep. So you can see that there. But this is, again, I'm going to say the right side just for this purpose. So that's the embossed side, the right side. What you would maybe think is, oh, I've done it the wrong way. It's not. That's debossed. Uh -huh. Look at the detail within yeah. that as well. It still looks so elegant. So what I'm going to do now is bring in some of those water reactive inks that uh, Ben was showing you earlier. I'm going to bring in Sandstorm and I'm going to bring in orange, and I'm also going to bring in a bit of Chinese red. So what I'm going to do, I want to make this very kind of autumn slash fall slash Thanksgiving theme. Yes. So I'm going to go in with my, actually let's go in with my orange first, because I want to give kind of like that whole base a coat of the orange. So we're using the water reactive. I'm just using one of the blending foam pads that we've got uh, on the show as well. I know, um, I, I think I ask this quite a lot, but with those blending foam pads that you're using, so you've got like a rectangular one there right now, and sometimes we see the circular ones as well. Is there any difference to, you know, which one we should use when? Uh, as I say, it's a personal preference. So for a good wee while, I actually really liked using the circle ones. Yeah. I found that, you know, the coverage in that was really good, which they are. But then just over the last couple of months, I've been using the rectangle ones a lot more. And I think just because you've got a bigger surface to actually cover, I think it also determines or depends on the size of uh, project that you're doing. Yeah. So if you're maybe just doing a little bit of inking, then you could use the circle one because it's a smaller circumference. So if I bring... I've got one in just here that has been used, but you can see the difference in uh, size. Yeah. Sort of you can see that one there. Almost, isn't it? Yeah. So the actual rectangle one, that gives you a bigger area to actually colour. So all that I'm just doing is I'm going straight on. I'm not doing anything specific as in darker colours here, lighter colours there. I just want to lay the colour down. So we're just going straight over the top. And then what I want to do is I want to add a bit of depth around the sides. But instead of going in with a deeper brown, like a friar brown or seal brown, this is where I'm then just going to bring in the sandstorm. Because if you can see from the packaging, although it's quite light, when it comes against the actual orange, it will still make it quite, uh, quite deep. Yeah. And that's exactly what we want. And it's kind of like giving it a bit of a faux matte and leather. Oh, uh, okay. Matte and leather. Matte and layer. <laughs> I knew what you meant. <laughs> I don't even know where leather came from there. 
So we've done that one there. Also, what you can do as well, sometimes because it's water reactive, you know, if you've got sweaty hands or oily hands, what you'll sometimes find is as you're holding them down, you're actually starting to pick up the ink. So you're yeah. left with fingerprints. So what you can always do as well, just a bit of scrap card, scrap paper, just lay that down, or it could be tissue paper or kitchen roll, and just Hold that down, that holds it into place, and then that just means that you're not getting any finger marks onto your ink pads. Yeah. So that's us done the orange. So let's then just go straight over now into the sandstorm. So now what we're just doing is we're just going right along the edge. Does it come off if you get it on your clothes as well, that ink? Absolutely. Oh, yep. it does. No problem. Because you've got your new shirt on today. I've got you? my new shirt on as well. Brand new shirt on. No. There's been a lot of love for your shirt, apparently, oh, on the socials. So apparently, yeah, a lot of people loving your shirt. So. I, do you know what I think it is when it comes to my shirts? What stands out is I don't wear long sleeves quite a lot. Because um, long sleeves get in my way. Do you know what? It's a really good point. Do you know, uh, I always, I don't know why, I always tend to roll my sleeves up. Yeah. I again today, I don't know why I do that. I can see myself doing that shortly. Mm. So i seen, um, I seen this shirt. And really quite liked it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was long sleeve. I was like, well, I won't, I will, I won't, uh. But I did, as you can see, hence why I'm wearing it. Well, you look very smart. <laughs> Thank you. Smart as a dart. Thank you very much. Mm. And I did get a bit of sparkle ink, something coming up later on in, <laughs> in this show, you know. So there's a wee preview for you of what we'll be doing just Love shortly. the fact you've previewed using your sleeve. Absolutely. That's brilliant. Not only just a sleeve, my brand new shirt. The things that I do to give you a preview. Yeah, and it was an expensive shirt as well. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> River Island, so it will be. <laughs> <laughs> so all that I've just done, as uh, you've just been seeing me doing there, just with the sandstorm, I've just gone round the edges. And can you see how already it just pulls your eye yeah. in to that centre? And also just round these parts here, I've also just gone around just to pick that colour up. So then what I'm just going to do now is we'll do another kind of technique with this one. And I'm going to bring in my Chinese red Ooh, yeah. that we can see on here. Now, you can go over the top again with your sponge. Or what you can do is if we just make sure we've kind of just got this laid flat. So I'm just making sure it's really quite laid flat. Then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just very, very lightly oh, okay. just holding the ink pad in my hand. Yeah. Very, very lightly on my two fingers. And I'm just going over the top. And what that's then doing is that's picking up the embossed detail. Now, there's another technique that you can do to get this effect where you actually put the ink onto your embossing folder but that's something we'll do another time this yeah. is just to show you how you've then got that look there when it comes to your embossing folder and then what i'm just going to do is if i can find a bit of acetate which i've got just here and let's just bring in a bit of a wipe. So just so we can wipe this one down. You know when you're using the pad like you were just using it then, you're not worrying about like cross-contaminating it with the colours that are already on the card, are you? No, not no. at all. If you were to actually get a bit of uh, a darker colour, so the sandstorm, if you were to get a bit of red, orange, a deeper colour, yeah. just on a bit of scrap card, all that I would just do is just uh, kind of okay. just wipe it off, just like that one. Yeah. And then that takes away any of that excess colour that you don't want and you are absolutely good to go. So then what we're going to do is we're going to transform this now into a bit of a shaker card. Oh, yes. So let's just pop a red liner tape down. So we'll pop our red. I've got a bit of acetate to the side of me just here. And I'm quite conscious, Ben, as we always say we're going to make a shaker card and we always have the element of the shaker back in already done. Yeah. So I thought, right, takes no time at all. So I thought, let's actually do this bit. Uh, live. Oh, good. Oh, well, seeing as it's a masterclass. Well, that's it. Exactly. Yeah. So I've just popped my red liner tape round the back. So it's just kind of covering around this aperture. So if we take this one off, and then all that I'm going to do is taking a bit of acetate. So let's just trim that down. Doesn't need to be neat because you're not going to see no. it. So that's then just going to go over the back just there. So then what that does is that creates a window onto that part here. Then what I'm going to do is bring in my shaker tape on a roll. So it's really quite key that you use the foam on a roll for this, because what we're wanting to do, once again, we're going to go around all these edges. Ah, uh, okay. But what we need to do is when I come to this next bit here, we need to make sure this end is just butted right up 
oh, against yeah. this one here. Because all your shaky bits will fall out. That's it. You don't want that to happen. You don't want your shaky bits falling out, do you? You don't want that to happen at all. So what I'm just doing is I'm doing that all the way around and just making sure we're pressed right up to the edge. Imagine giving a shaker card Ben and uh, you've not secured it and someone gets the card, opens it <laughs> and all the glitter or sequins or that falls out. I know you wouldn't like that at all, would you? Uh, well, do you know what? If I, I would find it quite amusing, maybe if like you had received that card and like all the bits fell over you, that I'd find that quite funny. Yeah. If it happened to me, <laughs> probably not. Probably no, not. Definitely, oh. definitely not in my house as well. Because my uh, my wife, I think I've spoken about this before. She is one of the cleanest, neatest people you would ever wish to meet. And if there's just even like, the smallest, tiniest speck of something on the floor, uh, the vacuum cleaner comes out. So I mean, that would just be a disaster. Oh gosh, she would absolutely hate that, wouldn't she? If that happened to yeah, her. Yeah, can you imagine? Especially if it was like glitter or something. <laughs> no, no. Ooh. Or you make it worse. You could have sequins. No. Actually, yeah. Uh, I don't know what would be worse on that sequins one. Sequins and glitter. Sequins and glitter. So what I've just done on that one there is the reason I've popped some foam on the outside as well, because you want to kind of balance it out. So you don't want to just have foam at the side and yeah. nothing to hold it up at the edges. So what I'm just going to do is we're just going to take the backing off. So again, this is then just going to actually uh, stable it. Then what I'm going to do is I've just brought in a card blank that I've already done a bit of layering. So we'll show you that in a moment. So let's actually, while I am... Um, doing that one let's bring this one in so i've just used a bit of black card and that pattern paper that i've used is from spring is in the air oh yeah so we've just used that one i don't want to ask you you're talking about card Anne was asking what thickness of card is best for embossing is there a specific weight of card or type of card well i always tend to use if i'm using my own color that i'll tend to use our white smooth stamping card but you know, you can be embossing things like your vellum, so that it's really quite thin. You know, it could be doing your acetate, you know, you'd be doing your papers and that. So, you know, you don't need to worry too much. Just what you do need to be wary of is the thinner that it is, the chances are it might kind of crack. Oh yeah. So what to do is if you are doing vellum, for instance, just pop a bit of copier paper in with it, and that is then just going to kind of like stabilize it. So you'll not get any of the cracking. However, with vellum, sometimes that white cracking actually looks really quite nice. So no, there's not really have a play and just see. I oh, it just happens, I always tend to use roundabout between a 280, 310 GSM, uh, and that always works a treat. So as you can see, what's, that's exactly what I've done with this one, which is about our 300 GSM. Oh. So what I've just done is I've just popped my sequence into or onto my card blank. Yeah. I've positioned it there just roughly where it's going to go, and I'm just going to pop that down. I like to put my sequence or glitter, microbeads, whatever I'm using, onto my card blank, then pop that over the top. This is the bit where you don't want to sneeze. Exactly. You don't <laughs> want to sneeze or cough or trip or anything like that. So I'm just pressing that down, and now that secures it, and now we've got our shaker element Love into it. place. So then what I'm going to do is just to kind of, I've got two things to add. We're just going to finish this one off with a sentiment. So within the stamp set, you've got uh, three different sentiment sets. However, you've got loads of sentiments within each one. So I'm going to use love and sunshine. So I'm going to use joy for this one because I'm keeping it along the lines of uh, autumn, fall kind of feeling to the card. And I can only find my larger stamping platform, which is absolutely fine. It still works a treat. And then I'm just going to bring in just a piece of white card. I've already cut this to size. So in case you wonder, it's three and a quarter by one and three quarters. Then I've just taken uh, another one of our colours. This is our quick dry. This is Fryer Brown. And I'm just inking that one on. Uh -huh. And then I'm just going to stamp the sentiment into place. If you've got your stamping mat, you could be using that one. So we're just going to stamp that one on into place as well. And then when we remove that one, so we bring that one, and then we can see how quick, quick dry is. Wow, so yeah. Check out all them when you're on the website as well, if you're uh, in the market for any other ink pads, they're always good to have. But what I'm then just going to do is let's just bring in Sandstorm again. So let's bring Sandstorm in, and now I'm just going to go around the edges for this one. Now the good thing as well, with these colours, is the more you go over them, the deeper that they get. So although Sandstorm is a lighter shade, I'm going to bring in the one that I've already done and I went over it time and time, well, I say time and time again. I think I went over it like I'm doing now, maybe about six times yeah. and it got deeper in colour. 
So I'm just going to go around there just to bring in that colour. And again, I specifically went around the edges. I really didn't focus too much on the centre. And again, see how you've got that bit of lightness within the middle mm -hmm. and the colour just comes all the way around. It just makes it quite effective. And then this is the one that I'd already done and oh, I amazing. just layered that colour up about six times, maybe eight. Yeah. But you have a wee play and see how uh, much depth you want to the colour. So then bringing this one back in. So I've already got my foam pads on the back, of course. You, you're using foam pads? Yeah, did you not know oh, that, Ben? I didn't know you liked to use no, foam pads no in your No one seems to know that. No. No one seems to know that. Okay, you kept that one quiet. I did, I know. I don't really bang on about no, you don't. that much, do I? No, no never heard much. you mention that. No, <coughs> foam pads, all the way. <laughs> So now what I'm just going to do is, because I've got my foam pads just there, now this goes for foam pads or tape, if you go to place them down, because technically this is still damp, it's still wet, it's a water reactive, so what's going to happen is your adhesive could actually potentially come off if yeah. it's a dry adhesive like a pad or a tape runner. So all that I'm just going to do is bring in my tacky glue, so this is just our call out tacky glue for this one, I'm just going to add just a little bit just here. So I'm just dabbing just a few bits and then what's going to happen is the foam pad is going to give the initial stick and then the glue will then soak into the foam pads, into the fibre of the card and then will stay in place. And then to finish off, let's bring in this goodness. So I've taken these from our winter collection of our flower forming foam. So I've just done a bit of an acorn. Now this is going to be dimen dimensional, so I'm not going to hide that fact. So if you want to make a box of that to go with it, of course you don't have to use any of the acorns. Maybe just uh, pop some of the leaves of that in. But then all that I'm going to do, and because this is then an embellishment as I class it as, I'm using my glue gel for this one so that we've got a lot of manoeuvrability. So then we can just add our glue gel onto the back. Love the colours you got here. Do you know what? I love autumn or fall. I do. Or, as well. I love the colours of the trees and the leaves as they fall. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's just a really nice time of the year. Although it's a cold time of the day, year, it can make you feel quite warm because of that. Because of the colours. Yeah. Whether you see the acorns on the ground, conkers on the ground. Conkers. Conkers. We colours. went conker picking the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah. I think oh. I had more fun than the kids though. I bet you did. Because they're not allowed to play with conkers anymore, are they, at school? Oh, no, they're not, are no, they? No, I think it's like um, health and safety, isn't it? You know, you have to wear helmets and visors and um, you know, suits of armour and stuff like that to, pr to protect you to from protect, the, the yeah. dangerous conkers. So we just collect them now because, um, well, they look quite nice. And apparently, I don't know if this is true, uh, conkers uh, keep spiders out of your house. If you, I don't know if this is true, but this is what we do. You, if you put conkers around like the window sills and stuff like that, then <laughs> apparently you'll get spiders in your house. Producer Laura Ooh. had a spider on her head earlier and she just said, maybe I should start wearing conkers on my head. I've got loads home if you want, Laura. I can bring some in next week. I'll make you a little conker hat or something. There we go. <laughs> exactly. Stop wearing there was a little garland around your neck. Everyone's going to be going out looking for conkers now just to place around Have you heard that before? House. I ha I've heard that before, yeah. yeah I have yeah. heard it. But yeah, there's, uh, just have them placed at the door of the living room. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Floating about. Yeah, exactly right. There we go. So there we are. I've just brought one of the berries in. Just popping them again, still from the flower forming range. That's all that I'm going to do. Let's just even just poke that back into place just there. So we've got that shaker part of the card, but we've made it very autumn kind of that theme. That is gorgeous. So that you can see just there. Then all that I would just do is make a box or that just to go in, or even an envelope box with your Ultimate Pro. But again, change the colours completely. This could be very, very... Um, springtime yeah. or maybe even summertime just so that you can, uh, can completely change the look. It's entirely up to yourself. I'm, I'm loving these demos. Lots of love for um, Craig's demos as well. I appreciate that Craig takes the time to show us everything, um, says Denise. Jennifer says, Craig does such a nice job explaining as he goes. Um, and Sarah on Facebook, loving the demos, Craig. Just one question before we move on, just to go, because uh, we're going to talk about these ink pads. Uh, Lisa has just said, what's the best way to get an even smooth ink blend? I can't seem to be able to get a nice blend. There's always a mark from the foam pad. Any tips on that, Craig? Right to you. Well, if I then just quickly bring in, we've got some smooth cardstock here. Oh, so thanks for this. What I would do is, let's bring in the orange, because then this would uh, also show off as well. So try and go in even lightly to start with. 
Now what we're then just going to do, so I'm just very, I know it's hard for you to see exactly how light I am, but I am just literally just kissing the glass mat. And I'm just You're not literally on. kissing. Not it. literally. Not literally. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. If oh, you are, you're doing it off, off, uh, off camera. <laughs> I love you so much, glass mat. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I do love my glass mat a lot, but, you know, it's well used. So. <laughs> but all that I'm just doing is just very, very lightly just going straight on. And I'm going, uh, it's a perfect angle, I love that one. So as you can see, and then I'm going straight down. So I'm not going at an angle or any different way. I'm going straight down and very lightly, and I'm just building up the color. So right. do little and often. So little, light, and often. So and is it like Lisa might be applying too much pressure then? Is that what could you think? Be, yeah. So if I then go really quite heavy there, uh, can yeah. you see how yeah. you're left with that ink? And this is just a watercolour card. You know, if you're doing this on our smooth cardstock, you'll get an even better result as right. well. So do little and light. Brilliant. Well, there you go, Lisa. Hopefully that solves the problem. Um, do try that out and let us know how you get on because we, we are here to help as well, of course. Um, Right, the ink pads are proving really, really popular and I am not surprised at all. Um, listen, we thought we were going to be uh, busy during birthday. We thought like today it might be a bit of a quieter day, but 40% of the ink pads have already gone. So if, if they're something that you want to go for, um, then uh, get going now because they are flying out the door. Um, I like the fact that we've got kind of little perfect partners with this as well. So like we saw a minute ago, he got the sandstorm that Craig was using. That comes with um, the honey pot. So do you know what I mean? You've got kind of um, corresponding colours here as well. We've got but um, also in this collection, your, um, your damson vine and your crushed velvet. We've got your plum jam and your Bordeaux, your fuchsia and your pink tulip. That gorgeous Chinese red as well, which um, Craig incorporated into the last demo, comes with uh, the orange. And then, um, always popular, the Oasis and the Parakeet as well. So all of those. Uh, £46 or $60 if you want to um, go for those today. Uh, and also, of course, uh, very much the star of the show so far are these um, cut and emboss um, aperture folders. Really, really love these. It's a great idea, yeah. isn't it, as well? And, and as I said, the great thing here is, is that it gives you uh, more time to craft almost because you get the cut and emboss straight away. So you're going to get um, all of uh, these cut and emboss folders. That was the one we just saw a few moments ago there with, um, with Craig. Gorgeous cut. And of course you get that beautiful emboss as well that's your floral frame uh, this one's really cute that um, open window again gorgeous emboss You're getting your inks on there as well maybe get this collection today if you can with the uh, the inks that we've got on the show as well i love this one that's my absolute fave you know talking about things that you're uh, you're thankful for rays of hope you've got it right there haven't you a beautiful sunburst effect uh, with that folder you've then got this as well which is the beautiful uh, stars again lovely emboss then you've got the three um, star apertures there as well then you've got uh, the beautiful honeycomb. This is really popular. By the way, you can get these individually. I'll talk more about that in just a second, uh, but you can get these individually should you want to. This one is very, very popular um, on its own. But if you go for the bundle, we're then also going to throw in the three stamp sets as well. So these come to you pretty much for free. So you've got your, um, your love and joy. You're then also going to get this one, uh, really great for um, new baby cars because you've got baby girl, baby boy, um, you've got made with love, love that. Uh, bright, super, reach for the stars, all in there for you. And then you've also got uh, this final collection. Again, works nicely with that honeycomb folder. Uh, just be you, um, happy queen, happy new home, uh, home sweet home, all on there as well. So you get those three within the bundle. If, however, you want to go for the individuals, and um, you can see details here at the bottom of your screen, so the uh, cut and emboss folders are on a two for twenty-two pounds or twenty-five dollar deal. So, uh, kind of a, a price for everyone, really. So, um, if you do want to go for, for those individually, you can. Uh, we've also got more cut and emboss folders available for you too. Um, a different bundle for you here uh, as well, which is your classic six-piece collection. So again, um, works very similarly to what, what you've seen before. I like this one particularly because the little house here reminds me of the house on the opening credits to Home Alone. I know this says home as well, but it looks like the little, it, it does. It does. It does, that could be Home Alone, couldn't it? Love that movie. Craig's already watched that film four times. Well, did uh, you know that the uh, second one is my favorite film ever? Is that right? Yeah, not just Christmas, ever. Do you know what? Um, so, sorry, slightly going off piece a little bit here. I love the Home Alone movies, one and two, because they made three, four, and five, which are pretty bad. Uh, but I think the second one is my favorite of the two as well. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Mm. Nothing to do, of course, with my love of New York, but yeah, it's my second, it's my favorite one, the second one. Yeah. Um, 
just, yeah, I'm in the mood. I might watch a Christmas movie tonight. It's allowed, isn't it? Now it's November. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what? What do you mean, what? <laughs> in the gallery. What? Yeah, of course it is. I always find that once, once Halloween's gone, I think it's acceptable to put on Christmas movies. I'll be watching Jingle All The Way with Arnie. That's Absolutely, me yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm just looking for the trouble man, doll. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, also in this collection, uh, you've got Friend. Come on. Uh, you, you, oh, I've started now, I can't finish. You will stay going here. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Starting myself off. I'm laughing, nobody else is. Uh, then, I am, I am. Oh, Craig's laughing. Then we got, um, <laughs> we got birthday. Again, these are all your, uh, your cutting emboss folders, giving you these beautiful effects, the beautiful emboss and that fantastic cut as well. Love that, congrats. And then finally within this collection, you have got uh, a lot of love as well. Again, deal and that's phenomenal. Should be uh, almost 78 pounds or 90 dollars, 46 pounds or 53 dollars is your deal on that. Thank you for all the comments coming in, by the way. Oh, by the way, if you want to go for those individuals, those are on a two for 20 or 23 dollar deal. Um, lots of love coming in today and lots of comments. We're talking about what are you thankful for? Uh, basically, Thanksgiving is on the way. Christmas is on the way, of course. So we're, we're looking forward to things and, we're, you know, it is a bit of a rubbish time for a lot of people, but what are you thankful for currently? Um, Susan says, I am thankful for Crafter's Companion. Uh, June on YouTube. June, you won one of the goodie bags yesterday, didn't you? Uh, I'm thankful that I found Crafter's Companion TV in August and have been buying fun, uh, oh sorry, been having fun buying and soon to be crafting with all my new goodies. Um, Sam on Facebook, I'm thankful for family, friends and Crafters TV. Uh, and Penny Van on YouTube, I'm grateful this year. Uh, there's been positive things to come out of the most dark of times and it's what gives me hope for the future, which is really, really sweet. Um, Michelle Flowers on Facebook, good afternoon CC. My reason to be thankful that my family and friends are healthy during this time and so many people have been innovative and learnt new skills and found new hobbies to keep spirits up and communications with others. And that's it as well, isn't it? With us here at Crafters TV, I love the fact that we, you know, we're obviously interacting with you here, but then you're all interacting with each other as well and I kind of get the feeling that lots of you have made friends with each other you know you may, may well have never actually met in person but you kind of uh, you know keeping in touch with each other asking each other questions sharing projects with each other and we are just sort of one big crafty family which makes me feel very happy uh, indeed um, Craig what are you thankful for uh, I am. Uh, I, I am actually going to be serious for a moment. I am as well. Just happy that my friends and family are, uh, as it is at the moment, keeping well. All is well, and in this difficult time, yeah, everyone is staying yeah. as positive they can be. And uh, yeah, let's fingers crossed. You know, crafting that's going to keep us uh, occupied and keep us all going as well, which that, we absolutely love. Yeah, absolutely. That is it, isn't it? That, you know, uh, we're all having a lot of fun here at Crafters TV, and especially during the birthday event um, as well. And one other question here, I know we've got loads of comments, which we'll come back to in just a bit, but one very important question uh, for Craig here before we move on to the next demo. Uh, June says on YouTube, Craig, when are you putting up your Christmas trees? <laughs> Well, I did, I did say that, because well, usually I'm the last week of November, so I actually think, I am putting it up early, I'm thinking maybe the middle of uh, November, so I'm, I'm trying to be good and not put it up any earlier, middle of November, which is about two weeks time, and then I'm going to put them all up. Do you know what, I, do what? I, I, love, I love Christmas, and I'm, I'm not, I, I think I get a little bit grumpier as I get older, uh, and sometimes I'll find myself, you know, driving around sort of October, November, and I'll see people with Christmas trees up and stuff, and I go, oh God, it's not even November yet, I'm not even December yet, but this year, yes. I say, do you know what, get your yep. trees up, get your decorations up, get your Christmas tunes on, get your Christmas movies on the TV, do what makes you happy, that's what I say, and if Christmas makes you happy, put up six trees, that's what I'm telling you. You agree with that? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've got uh, three trees, and now this year, because I've got, obviously, my back garden, I think I might even put a real tree out in my Do back it. garden. So I'm going to have four. That's Do my it. plan, anyway. Right. Right, so we're going to focus on these uh, sentiments. We're actually going to be using the love one. So just a few ideas using the love, but keeping in mind, you can do these styles using any of the other ones that Ben was showing you. So using your inks, actually paper piecing back into them, or then you can see just there making your concepts for your Ultimate Pro. What we are going to do is make 
make a relatively simple but effective card by actually using the waste. So the letters that would be waste, we're going to be using them. Amazing. So again, what I'm going to do is another one where I've used smooth cardstock. And the reason for these ones I've been using are uh, kind of like our white card or smooth card is because I know that, you know, if you've got any cardstock at home, you're going to have white cardstock. So yeah. you'll be able to do what I'm doing. So again, five by seven, I cut this down to, which is the size of the folder. And I'm just going to sandwich that one in. So we've got the top. Now, just to go over, just like the last one, exactly the same idea. You've got that light bit of sponge in the middle just there of the actual folder. Keep that in place. So I'm going to just sandwich that in between. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to then just bring in, again, my metal shim. The metal shim's not necessary. You don't have to do that. But again, it just uh, pulls out that embossing that wee bit more with the top plate. So that's then just going to go through. Now this could be the top of a box, you know, this could be the inside of a card. Use the actual die cut pieces separately if you wanted to. So if we bring this one out now, you're going to see you've got the love word. Huh. So these bits pop out. Yeah. So if we pop these ones out and then take the V out. Now the O stays in because that's actually a love heart. You'll see that a bit clearer in a moment. So if I bring this close up for you to see, what you're going to be able to see, not only have you got the heart, so if I tip that, there we go, ah. look at that. So we've got the love heart as uh, the circle, but then you've got the garland of love hearts as well. So you can see how you've got that two different tones with the garland along the top, and then we've also got the uh, L as well. Brilliant. So what we're then just going to do is, let's bring in our Chinese red again. What a reactive. Mm -hmm. So we'll bring this one in. Let's bring in my ink pad as well. So quite similar to what we've done in that last one, but I'm just going to add some ink down. So we're just going to bring in our actual uh, die cut piece. Now I'm just going to just start to lay that colour in again. So just go and lay, as I was saying, in between there. So just like to start with, we're going to go around the edges. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to start to go a bit more heavy handed over the top of the garland as well as the love heart that's in place of the O. Okay. So we're just going to go around the corner and we're just going to keep going round and round. And then a few people asking what conkers are, um, I think in America. But why else are they called conkers? Is it horse, is it horse chestnuts? No. Is that different? Uh, it's, so not in, no, you eat chestnuts, but aren't yeah. conkers horse chestnuts? Is that, I'm, I don't know. You guys are in the gallery, you have to Google it. Conkers, the game conkers, like in, in, it, so you get, you get the conker, we'll find out what the name, other name for it is, and then you drill a hole in it and attach it to a piece of string, right? So you've got it dangling on the string like that. I mean, con yeah, yeah, conker, I, yeah, I didn't know that. Sorry, producer Laura's just saying, conkers, they're poisonous. Please don't eat them. Yeah, don't eat conkers. Um, you drill a hole in them, put string through them, right? So you've got them dangling, and then kids take them to school, Right, and then one holds one up whilst the other one hits the hits the conker, right? And they have to try and break it off their string. Here's the thing, right, Craig, you might not know this. About 10 years ago, I went to the World Conker Championships in Oundel, yeah? And I got to the uh, last 16. So for, officially for a year, I was one of the best conker players in the world. Wow. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Baked it in the oven for three years. Do you, know, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I was actually, I was awake to ask a genuine question, but yeah. it's one of those questions where I don't know how to ask it because it could be taken a wrong way. Right, well, so, um, yeah. just be careful. Yeah, go on. Just, were, were they a certain size? What? The conquers. Do they have to be a certain size? What, or? for the championships? Yeah. Oh no, so what it was, no, so basically at the start of each match, they, they brought a big um, hat over, which had like um, strings like, out of the hat. So you, you literally pull the string out and then so you had, you had the, the conker that they gave you. So you, you weren't allowed to obviously take your own conker. But, I mean, I don't know if there's much technique. I just went along for a bit of a laugh and ended up getting down to the last 16. But I, what, what I did was, I mean, I'm quite, cause it's quite hard when you, when you go like that. It's quite hard to hit him, so I was just sort of dangling my, <laughs> letting mine dangle, and then <laughs> when other people were hitting my my dangly dangle the conquer, it it like they were theirs was breaking. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't down to my attack; it was more down to my defence. I would say. Okay. Um, so have you got this great big 
conquer trophy sitting on your mantelpiece or something? No, uh, no, because I only got the last 16, but here's the thing. Um, I, I went in fancy dress, okay? I went, <laughs> this just gets more and more bizarre. I went in fancy dress and I went, you'll appreciate this. I went dressed as Hulk Hogan. Oh, yes. Um, right, I went dressed as Hulk Hogan. And if you want to see uh, the, the video, I made a, a really badly edited video. It's on YouTube somewhere. Um, it's about 10 minutes long of my whole uh, experience there. So if, you, if you're really bored, um, you, can, you can look that up later on. Only You've if you're really so bored, got to look for this, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, I could just picture that. Imagine yeah. that. You've got to do that for a bit of fun and you end up winning. I know. Literally, it was just that. I, I don't even know. I think I went up there. It was something we were doing on the radio. I think we were talking about, you know, ran, random, um, like, British things. Because, you know, we have, like, the nettle eating competition here yeah. in the UK and the, uh, the the cheese rolling competition. It was it was one of those things. And um, so I, I went along to this, this this competition for a bit of a laugh and ended up being there all day and nearly winning it. Um, I don't know why I just as Hulk Hogan, though. You'd have to... <laughs> Not quite sure. We really do have some random things going on here. Then, <laughs> we <okay>? do. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, back to you. <laughs> so what I just done there is I just went over the top with the Chinese red. But what I done was I went a bit more heavy handed over the garland of the hearts as well as the love heart just there. So then what I've just done, I've already done it on my other ones, but I just want to show you is I've taken some of our foam pads and I've just popped them back on the back of what was the die cut letters. So I've done uh, the L, I've done the V, and I've also done the E. But then for the O, you can keep it like that, or if you've got any of our heart nested dies, then I've just die cut that out in a red luxury card. Uh -huh. And then a simple A5 card blank, I've just popped a bit of ribbon around it, and then just some of our red, uh, I think this was our Christmas red Centura Peril. So you can, of course, use any of your other cardstock. So what I'm going to do for this one is we're just going to add some of these up all the way around. Uh -huh. And because my letters are going to be lifted with our pads, this is just going to go on flat. So if we then just start to add our adhesive on, then bringing this back in, so we're going straight over the top oh, there. Brilliant. So we've got that deeper red all the way around. Then let's bring these in. So L got the heart, the V and the E. So we're just going to take the backing off. You can use your glue gels if you wanted to, it's entirely up to yourself. So we're just going to take the backing off just here. So as these come off and then we're literally just going to just place them back yeah. into place. However, a couple of ways you can do that is you can either go right over the top in place or you can just pull it in just a very, very slight little bit then what that will do is that will also give you that deep red shadow on the outside. So that's two ways in which you can do it if you wanted to. Love it. So let's just take the backing off of these ones as well. So let's take this one and take this last one as well. And then layer these ones up. If you wanted to, you could add some extra colour or ink around the edges of the letters. It's up to you. And then last but not least that one. Take that one off. So we're just going to do exactly the same. So I'm just going to pull it down very, very slightly just to give us that bit of deep red shadow. So let's just place that one on. And then last but not least with the letters, we'll just take this middle one. I'll take the two sides off, finish it with a love heart, and then that will be that. Very, very lovely. Um, nice, uh, looking nice and easy to do, isn't it? It's a really stunning looking card, but very, um, well, your demo, very easy to follow. And, and kind of, again, if you even if you are quite new, these are the kind of um, things that you can use to create very professional looking cards from scratch, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And I think when it comes to cutting embossed folders, we get carried away trying to show you that it can do more mm. than just easy, simple cards. But sometimes we need to show you how you can make simple, straightforward, easy cards using the cut and emboss folders. And that's what I've been trying to do throughout uh, this show as well. So you can follow this concept with, you know, any of the other words that we've got on the show and that as well. Changing the colours, changing, you know, the inks you use, all these different things you could be doing. It's entirely up to yourself, but that's just a nice wee uh, love card that you can be making. 
Absolutely love it. Do you know what? It, it, it's great to see what I did there. Love it. Uh, great to be back doing these masterclasses. I love the fact that you're all finding inspiration um, from um, Craig's demos. Love the fact as well that uh, lots of you have lots of things to be thankful for. That's what we're chatting about, of course, today as well. Uh, thankful to start my personal new year, says Diane on Facebook. My birthday was yesterday. Well, happy birthday for yesterday, Diane. Hope you had a brilliant day. Um, Mary Pat 1000. I'm thankful that my family and friends are well, that we have found ways to remain close from a distance. More that to come in just a few moments time uh, but let's just recap on everything that you're gonna get within that bundle that um, Craig just showed you there so uh, you will get the love all right so that comes with this six piece collection and again you've seen how easy it is to use you are literally um, building a sandwich popping it through your machine and away it goes um, also within this collection you're going to get um, congrats you can see that beautiful emboss with the die cut congratulations as well there's your birthday I think that's super special with the emboss of the presents and the uh, shooting stars there and the flourish as well. This is the um, thanks. We did have someone actually saying that they'd like to see this one demoed at some point. I don't know. I know Craig's got his uh, his demo sort of ready. We might try and squeeze that in for you a little bit later on. Whoever it was that was asking that on the socials, uh, friend as well. Again, beautiful emboss and uh, the, the wonderful friend which cuts out for you too. And then there we go. Uh, I think that's my favourite a lot just because it reminds me of home alone. Uh, your home. So all of those included. All six for forty six pounds or fifty three dollars. Uh, it's a saving of what about thirty one pounds or uh, 30 odd dollars uh, and of course if you're a platinum member you can take another 20% um, off those prices as well and if you want to go for those individually of course you can and they are on a um, multi buy deal too. The ink pads by the way uh, proving really popular uh, now 50% of the stock of the ink pads has gone a 12 piece collection uh, you're going to get all 12 of these here with the kind of um, corresponding colours as well. So I really like that. The fact that you're going to get your honeypot, which works beautifully with your sandstorm, your parakeet, which works beautifully with the oasis. You've got the, um, the Chinese red and orange and more included on there as well. £46, $60 with a, uh, well, over 20% saving on those. Right, uh, we've got plenty more to show you, lots more to share as well, because you are uh, going crazy with your comments today, which is lovely. Uh, but before we do all that, let us find out more about Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to Silver Membership, where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a Gold Member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1,500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. There you go, Sue. So if you are not yet a, uh, a member, then um, yeah, get involved. Um, lots of chat about Conkers on the socials. Also, thank you. I must say thank you to uh, Susan on Facebook who said, Ben, the uh, California clock was wrong behind you. It was an hour fast. We turned our clocks back on Saturday night. I've just done it. 
Um, I've just done it, so there you go. It should be, should be, <laughs> it'll be about right now. Oh dear. You know what, the guys have just gone, we've got some customer images you want to show now, so if you can uh, photo that next, I can see what's coming up. You know, I was telling you a few moments ago, I was in the uh, Conquer World Championships. Oh my gosh. There you go, that was, that was me. The guys have obviously, found, where did you find that? Did you search in the video? You found it on YouTube, yeah, there you go. So that was me at the World Conquer Championships. I think that was about 2010, 2009, 2010. That's me, do, Hulk. Do you know what's brilliant as well? Not only are you, but Hulk Hogan yeah. is at the World uh, Conquers Championship. There's even a souvenir stall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, more yeah. Conquers. <laughs> oh, that is, that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant <laughs> seeing Hulk Hogan. Love it. You guys. Why I uh, Right, now listen, we've also got, like, if you love the inks, you love your pens, you love your colouring, you're going to love these bad boys. I've, I've only seen these in action once before on a uh, Colour Me Happy show that we did with Fiona, maybe, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. And these are absolutely brilliant. I love these. If you are wanting to add um, just sparkle and shimmer and shine to all of your projects, these sparkle pens are just absolutely brilliant and um, you're going to get an 18 piece collection uh, the autumn winter coastal cottage um, and spring summer as well um, so this first collection here is your um, autumn winter let me just put my specs on so i can tell you all of the colors that you um, are going to get um, within uh, this collection so you've got your smoke quartz your olive jade and harvest moon uh, your starry sky holly leaf and red berry and um, they're really cool they've got like um sort of like a, fle a flexible um, brush end on these um so it allows you to kind of you know apply these and get perfect perfect sparkle each and every time you use them uh, this next one here is your uh, spring summer so again uh, you've got pink champagne moonlight and soft jade uh, solar red, emerald green, and your blue topaz as well. You know, great for your colouring, great for sort of all of your embellishments. Um, you know, even if you want to kind of like write with these, sign your Christmas cards with them, I, I guess you could do, you know, add a real bit of sparkle. Uh, and this one is your coastal cottage. This one's really lovely as well. Linen and peach tree, sea spray and magnolia, cornflower blue, and pistachio as well. So all of those you're gonna get for 49.98 uh, should be uh, uh, 74.97. So it's almost, almost like you're getting one for free there, isn't it? Really, the way that works out. Um, $100 or 65.90 uh, is what you pay today for those. Now, other goodies that you might wanna go for uh, is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Video Tutorial DVD. So if, again, if you are quite new to this, what I love is that you can, you know, you can pop us on twice a day, but then there's loads of other stuff on our uh, website, there's loads of stuff on YouTube, and we've also got these DVDs and USBs and all sorts going on now where you can get more inspiration and demonstration. This one is specifically for the um, Spectrum Sparkle. Uh, seven pounds, UK only sadly, so if you're uh, in the US, apologies, you can't get your hands on that. It's to do with the, um, the regions of the DVDs, different regions, uh, so it's a UK region only. Uh, but that's a half price deal for our UK viewers today. Uh, we've also got on the show as well, if you love the uh, Sara Signature Collection, this is the Cut and Emboss Folder Collection, which comes with your uh, Winter Wishes, uh, it comes with your Cute as a Button, and also your rose gold folder as well. Uh, that again is a saving for you of about 25 per 20, uh, 25%, 29 pounds or 36 dollars. Um, and then we've also got the Nectar's Garden Vintage Christmas Cut and Emboss Folder Collection. Yeah, you know, if you're thinking, oh, well, you know, we're gonna be able to get all the Christmas craft in, you've got time still, you've got time. We've got another 29, 54 days till Christmas. Uh, elegant holly and your festive frame included in that collection for 22 or 25. Um, glass mats are popular. We had a question about the glass mats actually, which I'll um, throw to Craig in just a few moments time. Um, if you wanna go for this one, this is the 13 by 19 glass cutting mat. Again, this is a UK only deal, uh, but it's 21.99 if you want to go for um, that mat. Um, pop it into your basket. Uh, and just recapping on, uh, well, I would say the star of the show, uh, these amazing apertures. Let's just quickly go through the boards again, I think. We may as well have a look here. Um, I think these are really cool. It's the first time I've seen these properly demonstrated. Uh, and again, love the fact we've got Craig here. Always very easy to follow. Always very um, inspirational with his demonstrations um, as well. And lots of people saying you know, that they love seeing these in action. A few, few of you saying that you got these on the um, the birthday event as well. So it's great to be able to you know get these out now, show you how they all work, uh, and show you how easy it is to be able to create. Obviously, you've got your em embossed and then the little uh, die cuts included in there as well for you to be able to create this beautiful uh, little honeycomb. You've then got... The 
uh, I think, again, this might be one of my faves. The stars are absolutely glorious uh, with the three um, sort of star uh, apertures there and then all of that detail on the emboss as well. Then you've got, I mean, isn't this just absolutely glorious? That ray of sunshine. Love that one a lot. Again, you've got the aperture there to be able to, uh, you know, pop in the sentiment should you wish to do that. This one's really cool as well. Your little um, arch window with the uh, opening doors there. Again, all the detail on the brickwork of the emboss mm. as well. That one's proving really popular. But the second favourite of the individuals. Uh, this is the one you saw on the demo uh, with Craig a little bit earlier on, the floral frame, again proving really popular. Look at all the detail again of that beautiful emboss, it's adding your gilding waxes, adding all of your colours on there as well. And then you've got uh, your final one which is the candy cane. Um, again, uh, plenty of scope for you there to be able to create some amazing projects. If you go for this bundle, so if you go for all of those, we will then throw in, because we love you, uh, all of these stamps as well. So you get this beautiful um, stamp collection with the uh, the bees. Uh, it says home, home sweet home, home is where the heart is. Uh, and you've got that beautiful little bee stamp as well. Also, we'll throw in uh, this one. Great for your new baby cards. Uh, baby girl, baby boy, little boy, little girl. You've got the stars included in there as well. And then you're also going to get uh, love, um, love and joy. Hello, sunshine. You are my sunshine. Just gorgeous. So that they those come almost for free if you like within the bundle. If you want to go for the cut and emboss folders um, individually, you can do the honeycomb is proving really popular, as is the uh, the arch window I think as well. But those are on a two for twenty two or two for twenty five dollars. Um, if you want to create your own sort of mini bundle. Um, or you know, just go for a few of those individually, you can. Right, uh, keep all of the lovely, lovely messages coming in. Uh, any, any more genuine photos, uh, do send those in as well. Uh, we'll read out some more. <laughs> Penny's just put, um, loved Ben's Arnie. Uh, ben has to be Arnie for the rest of the show. Um, did an impression earlier on. That's not going to happen because I'll get told off. I would do it, but no. Um, and Kristen's saying, I'll be decorating for Christmas within the next two weeks. And I do put up six Christmas trees. So there you go. I was just trying to find the question that we had. Oh, here it is. Um, as we go over to Craig. So Gloria asks, um, says, hello, everybody from Shadydale GA. It's any question. If you don't have the glass mat, I mean, we have got one on the show, which you can buy if you want. But she says, if you don't have the glass mat, what could you use to spread ink? You can use uh, quite a lot of things. So if you have, you know, things like uh, a laminated surface, so anything that is obviously plastic oh, yeah. that is able to be uh, wipeable, uh, any other kind of mat, if you've got a craft mat, you could use that. If you're someone that's got things like a laminator, laminate a bit of yeah. uh, paper, cardstock, you could be using that. Again, if it's a surface that's very uh, easy to wipe up, then you could be using that. Obviously not something very, very expensive that you've got at home. But if it is just something that's easy to wipe up and mop up, then absolutely you can start to do your blending and that on there as well. Um, I tell you what, if you are looking for um, a little accessory kit to allow you to be able to um, do that, then we have got this uh, blending collection bundle, which brings you um, the, uh, the craft mat as well. So you've got um, uh, all of the uh, blendables in there. You've got the, um, the blending brushes, the, the dabbers, dabbers, dobbers, the brayer, the spritzers, uh, the little blending palette there as well. So that's a good little one to go for. 30 pounds or $40 for that collection. Right, I cannot believe it is 10 past two already. Where's the time going? We better go back over that side and uh, see what Craig has got up his uh, sleeves. It's not, it's not often I can do that because no, no, I was uh, going to say. Have one, <laughs> plenty of ink on, that's for sure. Um, so we're going to be using the aperture, we're going to use the shine bright. Now when I, we're going to show you the star one, or we're using the star one. So while I show you these, I'm going to say to Ben, Ben, yeah. could you maybe please just, uh, can I pinch your yellow ink pad and I'll give you it back afterwards. The, uh, the honey pot. The honey pot, that would be great. No worries. And I know we're at a distance so you're able to pop it onto the edge of the table. So there it is, it's an idea that you could be making there. So you've got your shaker element and you're using the dies that you can actually then just uh, stamp onto. Then what about doing an easel card that you can see there, but going all different when it comes to your actual gilding waxes as well. But then we've gone for a bigger card where we're actually just using it as uh, you know a new baby. And that's a good thing with having those sentiment stamps as well. You can mix and match while you are creating. So if I pop them to the side, just bring these ones in. So again, as I was saying, we're going to be using the Shine Bright. So that means then we're going to do a bit of blending as well, but we're also going to do a bit of a technique where we're putting the ink onto the folder. 
So I'm going to take the honey pot and I'm bringing in the folder again. So just like before, you know, you've got your stars at each side. And of course the stars, these are great for you to be using elsewhere in your crafting. So I'm just going to just pop my cardstock in. And then once again, we're going to run that one through just here. So, uh, no, what we're going to do, let's uh, start by, let's lay the ink down. So I'm wanting to lay this honey pot. So we're just going to get the colour on and I'm not going to be uh, precise. I'm not going to worry if I get marks or anything like that. I just want colour down. But it being the stars, it's in the sky, it looks quite effective, quite effective if you've got kind of that, you know, rough, unnatural look. So we're just then... <laughs> That's the like, look I try and go like for every day. Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah, rough and unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm. On a Sunday morning, waking up, that's how I look. <laughs> so we're just laying that colour down just into there. Talking about being rough, I was um, thinking about um, not doing the whole, um, I was going to say you doing it, but you've already got one, the whole Movember thing. Is that, is that a thing in the US as well? Is that a thing in the US, Movember? Is it? Yeah. Um, I might do it for a bit of a, will I be allowed here? Because at previous places I've worked, they tell you off if you're like, you know. No, it's a, yeah, yeah, go for it. Do it. Should I do it? Maybe I'll do it. You, you should. have to grow a moustache for November, of course, and you raise money for um, like male charities like testicular cancer, prostate cancer, all these kind of things. So I might do it. The only thing is, it will take me about two months. I'll have to do it till the end of the year <laughs> to grow a moustache. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that anyway. Something to you think should about. Do it. Yeah, well, funny enough, actually, on what were we are on Monday. So on Saturday, I actually tidied mine up. Yeah, which I was, was going to say. Halloween. So therefore, I'll not touch it now for the rest of the month. And we'll see. Probably all right. Like, Probably yeah, like Cousinette or something. I was going to say, yours will be down to the floor, wouldn't it? Down there, yeah. <laughs> and Ben's will still be like that. <laughs> I'll have two little solitary hairs on the top of my lip, like that. Be getting the tweezers out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I just lay that colour down. As you can see there, you know, we've got marks, we've got streaks. I wasn't being uh, just actually uh, any specific way that we've got there. Mine's a stain on. Thank you, Adam. I'm not shaving mine off. Uh, Adam, yeah, Director Adam's just suggesting that uh, Craig does a reverse Movember and shaves his uh, shaves his moustache off. Uh, that would look really weird if you just shaved the moustache bit off and then just kept the kept the rest of the the beard. Uh, yeah, it would look strange, wouldn't it? It would look really, <laughs> really strange. That would be uh, funny. It would be interesting. I can't imagine you without a beard. No, I couldn't imagine myself with, without one either now either. That would look really, really weird. Uh, yeah. No, I don't want to see what I'm like. <laughs> Well, what I'm doing now is I've got obviously my folder out and I've got my ink. So this time we've gone for the orange and then I'm just having a look. So on this side here, or this side here, this is where you've got your deboss side. So it's going to push into that way there. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm actually going to lay my ink down. Now I'm going straight onto my folder. So what I'm actually going to then be using is actually the deboss side because the ink is then going to transfer into the card. So what I'm then just going to do is I'm just going to keep going over and I've got my cover laid down as I've got it there. Yeah. Then what I'm then going to do is, so I'm going to go colour onto colour. So I'm going to then just lay that over the top and I'm going to just try and not move it at all because I want to kind of have um, a straight colour swap. So then what I'm going to do is, just like before, we're just going to do our base cutting plate. We're then going to do our, magnet, our metal shim and then I'm going to do my top plate. So I'm going to then just pop that there. So what's going to happen is because we've popped ink onto the embossed stars, as that goes through, not only is it going to push the cardstock through, but it's going to push the ink as well. So in these deboss recesses, you're actually going to get ink. So then we're just going to take all of these out. So I'm going to show you the, debo uh, the embossed side without any ink. Uh -huh. So that is it embossed that we can see there. So if I show you that way, so if there was to ever be a right side, that would be it. Yeah. However, this is then going to be the deboss side. Oh, wow. So you can see how all that orange is then transferred That's into brilliant. the actual edges. Don't worry that it's gone all the way around, very rustic looking indeed with that one just there. So that's why I want to keep these colours keeping in lines with the stars. And then what I'm going to do is, because on these ones here, we've got the ink already transferred. So I'm then just going to bring in my stamp set. So for this one, let's just go for, we'll do reach, which is here. For the stars. I, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Climb every mountain, mountain high, high so reach. reach. Oh, you, know, you, you can't sing without doing the movement, can you? No. 
So we're going to do it for the stars as well. And um, quick question, actually, just whilst you're doing that, Susan asks, will that ink not stain the embossing folder? Uh, no, that one won't. Uh, your, if you were to try and use your quick dry, then obviously you won't get as uh, good a transfer. Quick dry may stain it. Even if it did, even if you've got a little bit of discolour to it, mm. don't worry. If, just give it a nice wash just with a, a wet wipe or a wet towel or something like that. Yeah. And then that'll be absolutely fine time and time again onto white cardstock, light cardstock, no problem Very at good, Susan. all. No so worries. don't worry about uh, any, getting any transfer of ink, it will be fine. Trust me, Craig said it will be fine. <laughs> so now what I'm just going to do is let's just take our large uh, stamping platform again because I can't find the small one. And then we're just going to do, so I'm just going to, I think I'm going to have it this way. I'm not telling you just, well, we're going to make a box out of this one. Let's right. just say. Right, I, didn't, right I didn't keep you in suspense long, did I? No, you didn't. So we're going to have it that way. I'm not so going to take, we're going to make a box. La <laughs> large one. Large one, medium one, and then the small one. I know, could have held out a bit longer with that, couldn't I? <laughs> so let's go for uh, our actual ink. So we're going to go for our alcohol proof. And I'm just going to come in, and again, nothing specific. I'm just going to stamp. So we've got reach. So this one oh, is... The stars. Exactly, that's it. You've got it in one. We're all going to be singing that for the rest of the day. <laughs> well, I will be anyway. So then what I'm going to do is go into this one. Uh, I put a super. I don't want that one. I oh. want what are you looking for? reach. I need oh, yeah. for this. That's what I need. <laughs> So now that I've got reach already on, I've then got for the, so that can go there. So that's going to sit next to the reach. For the stars. And then what we can then do is bring in the stars. So we're going to stamp that one. So that's going to go to the right hand side of the reach. For the stars. Like that one. So then we've got reach for the stars for the stars for the stars so then you can have all the different you can have reach in the middle for the stars. reach to the left <laughs> for you the can stars. have reach to the for side the stars. or you can have them all different ways it's all about reaching to your potential <laughs> for the stars. so we can then bring this one into there so we've got all them good to go anyone will keep when will you keep saying reach on purpose <laughs> Well, oh, S Club stars. big in America I wonder I don't think they were were they not I don't, I don't we, know um, I don't know. No, they did have their shows, didn't they? S Club Miami or Miami something. Did they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Mm. You know more than me about S Club 7. In yeah. case um, you didn't have S Club 7 in America, they were like a, um, what would you call them? A like band. A, yeah, but they were not a band, were they? They were like a seven piece group, pop group. Yeah. Like, um, like a, what would you call, what, what kind of, they're just like pop, pop pop music. And they had their own TV show as well. A bit like the Monkees. Weren't they? In the fact that they had their own TV show, but they released records as well. Mm -hmm. They probably were big in America. They were big over here. Maybe. maybe. Mm. Yeah. Rachel was always my favourite. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and by the way, in case you're wondering, S Club 7 had that song that I kept singing. Reach yeah. for the Stars. In case, what are they going on about? Reach for the Stars. <laughs> that was it. They are back now, but it's only three of them. Yeah, we had the word of a lie about, again, probably about seven or eight years ago, we we hired uh, what we thought was the whole of S Club for a, a radio <laughs> a, a event that we'd done. Uh, it was like, a, it, was, it was called The Party on the Green. And uh, we thought we'd hired them all, but it was actually, yeah, S Club 3 that came <gasps> along. Um, oh, I'm trying no. to think. Uh, the, I, think yeah, I think he was there. Brilliant. It, yeah, it was, it was Bradley. It was Hannah, I think. And was it Joe? Was it the one called Joe? Yeah, it was Joe. Joe. It was those three. It was those three. Oh, that was we also, brilliant. the following, the following year, we had, uh, we had three from five as well, which was interesting. <laughs> yeah, five. Three from five. Three I from remember, five. Yeah, <laughs> I remember them. Gosh, yeah. Oh, God, that was my kind of era with all them ones. Yeah. I, I know all of the songs from that era because during that time I was working on the holiday parks and so all of the music from Five and like S Club was played every night at the discos. Really? And, be and because I was one of the, you know, the red coats or the blue coats, or whatever it was, we had to like, lead all of the dancing. So I know all of the, the moves from S Club and Steps and Five. I can't do it now, but bad back. Ooh, I can't do those moves anymore. I bet Craig knows a few moves I, well. I knew them too, Ben, but it wasn't because I was a red coat. It was just because I always listened to them. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I know uh, Wigfield and Saturday Night. Oh, yeah, no, that uh, I know them ones, all these ones, I know. But I don't, I would probably, I'm saying no, 
I don't remember the dances, but once the actual music starts, yeah, you'd probably do I it. I probably would do Macarena. The Macarena, yeah. yeah, Macarena, yeah. yeah. Remember that one? Uh, Loved that one. You definitely would know that one. Ca DJ, Casper Slide. Remember that? Oh yeah. Slide to the Slide left. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Yep. Oops, upside your head. Maybe we should do our little uh, little social video, me and you doing some party dances. I think we should. I, I'm up for it. Yeah. I'm up for it, but is everyone else up for it? That's the All question. Right. We'd like to see that. Anybody want to uh, see some crafty party dances with Ben and Craig? Socially distanced, of course. Of uh, course. Get in touch. We need to get like a big perspex screen or something in, in between <laughs> yeah. us. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Just to say, Ben, what I've just done here with the box, just in case you want to know, is it was eight inches by 10 inches, and I've just scored it an inch all the way around just to create my lid as well as my base. So we're just then going to pop that one on there. So we've got our uh, lid, which is good to go. Then I've just taken my embossed piece of cardstock, just matte and layered that onto some gold glitter card and then black card. And I've just layered that one up. We're just then going to go all the way around with our tape. So we can then bring this one in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring reach for the stars. back in. We're then going to bring for the and then the stars. And then what we can then just do is let's just lift these up with some pads. So I'm just going to pop one on into there. And then I'm just very kind of random. Let's just pop them in different ways. Love it. So we're just still going to see a bit of the gold on the back. We're still going to see that star aperture on the back. But then we've also used in what would then be the waste, of course, would never be waste to us but then we're just incorporating that as an area where we can stamp onto. So pop that one on. Then if you want to finish off with gems or pearls or ribbon, then you can do, but that's all that I'm going to do for that one. And then again, that could be transferred into a card or obviously, you know, a box, make it bigger, make it smaller. So you can see them ones there. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I've got loads and loads of different things that I can be shown yet. Now I've got the star one. So just in case you didn't say right at the start of this one, this is a couple other things that you can be doing with the stars. Oh yeah. So again, this one along the same ideas, but we've just used some gilding waxes within this one. This is then could be using your sparkle pens, your sparkle pot. It would just be uh, actually creating a background, making a larger card. So it's going to be baby themed so again. All these sorts of ones you can transfer into the other one. So if I show you some of the other things that you could be making with the other collections. So we've got the candy cane and we can see we've got the window. Then we've got, now look at that one. If you've got any of your other collections. Oh, so great. Again, but that one, that would equally work well with yes. the window. So it's like Santa's then just either looking through or looking out. You know, you could have it that way. But then you've got your My Sunshine. So you can be making bright oh, yeah. and cheerful colours with these ones. Or let's, what about a little book? So a little notebook that's been made out, just uh, as a little keepsake, just to give to someone, change the colours completely, going all out and vibrant and bright, or then bringing in any of your metallic markers or pens that you've got that you can see just there. Or if we go back to the sunshine again, this is actually using the same technique that, that I just showed you with the letterpress just adding a bit of sparkle as well. So, so many different things. And then keep in mind what I've done with the stars, you could do with, you know, maybe the uh, the bumblebee one or the hex against the heart. So many different things you can do. Um, some amazing, amazing demos already with Craig. Great to see some finished samples as well on this collection as well. Uh, really busy on the Apertures collection. Um, really, really popular indeed. A third of the stock is gone. Remember, you're going to get all of those beautiful cut and emboss aperture folders with the with that candy cane. You've got the open window there as well. You've got the stars. You've got that beautiful sunshine. So all of those included. And then these stamps that you're seeing here uh, pretty much works that like you're getting those for free. Should be over £101 or $119. £78 or $95 today uh, if you want to go for those. The inks as well proving really, really popular. 60 percent 
percent of the stock has now gone it's a great bundle i love the fact that you get so much for your money and i love the fact that you've got kind of like the perfect partner so the chinese red and the orange you've got the fuchsia and the pink um you've got the honeypot and the sandstorm the parakeet in the oasis so all of those um in this bundle as well 46 pounds or 60 dollars really lovely um color selection let's show you some pictures then and see uh, what else we've got on the show which you might want to pop into your basket and actually uh, what we have got coming up the uh, sarah signature cut and emboss folder collection is proving very popular as well uh, with the winter wishes the rose gold and the uh, crafty fun embossing folders uh, cut and embossing folders i should say uh, 29 pounds or 36 dollars saving a quarter on those those sparkle pens as well absolutely love these so you're going to get six within each range so you've got the autumn winter the coastal cottage and the spring summer um, just under 50 pounds or just over 65 dollars works out pretty much that you're saving uh, almost 25 pounds 32 dollars so you, it's almost like you're getting one free there isn't it really for that price the way i work it out in my little mind um, so grab those if you uh, want to add a bit of sparkle into your life thank you craig uh lots of comments coming in um Loving the shaker cards that we did a little bit earlier, says uh, for holidays on YouTube. Uh, love the sparkle pen, says Betty. Uh, liking the star folder, says Shannon. Uh, lots of love as well. We only mentioned this briefly for the party dances. Uh, K.S. Brown Keita on Facebook says, bring on the crafty party dances. Uh, Tall Chicky 8 on YouTube says, love reminiscing about all the songs and dances in between making cards. Well, that's what we're here for, you see. Uh, Susan on Facebook says, yes, crafty dances. I want to see... Dance, dance, dance. Uh, and uh, Penny saying, haha, the very first cheer we had to learn as young cheerleaders back in the early 70s was with the locomotion. Do you have the moves to that, Craig? I remember that. Yeah, do the locomotion. Who did it? It was um, Little Evil, wasn't it? And then Kylie Minogue released it. Look at me with my knowledge. Um, and uh, Evelyn say, thank you for showing all the different ways to use these cut and bus folders. Well, there we go. There's something to work on, isn't there? As well as all the crafty fun here, uh, Craig and I will get uh, working on the, um, the party dances as well. Uh, if you want to send us any uh, photos, we would love to see those, by the way. We've still got time, just over half an hour remaining. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. So um, if you've already used these cut and emboss folders, maybe you've got some of these inks as well and you want to uh, show us what you've been making, we would love to see those, please. So uh, send those in and also keep those comments coming in too. Um, you can get social with us on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, anything that you want to know, anything that you want to ask, anything you want to share with us. Um, maybe you want if you want to go, no, please, Ben and Craig, do not dance. Uh, whatever you want to send to us, uh, you can do it. A uh, couple of questions um, about the ink pads. Ingrid says, question, what are your favourite blending colour trios, please, Craig? Ooh, Ooh, you got him. You got me. I do like the yellows together. I like the pinks together. And I like the... You, the lagoons, the, um, uh, oh, gone out of my head. Which ones? Uh, parakeet. Parakeet. That's yes. it. Parakeet. Parakeet that and Oasis. It. I love those blends together as well. They work really, really well. Uh, and Alison says, are there Christmassy ink pads? I think, like, the you've got the Chinese reds quite Christmassy here, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there, there are some other Christmassy colours, I think, as well, definitely, aren't there? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Some of them you can absolutely use for uh, Christmas colours, whether you want to go for the, the frosted look with, like, the aces, or if you want to do your reds, of course you can. Yeah. Go for whatever you like. There we go. Uh, keep those questions coming in. Keep your uh, comments coming in as well. And as we said, if you want to send any pictures, you can do that too uh, over the course of the next half an hour. Right, back over to uh, Craig. What are we looking at now, mister? Right, Tio, so we're going to have a look at the Sarah's signature. So let's give you an idea of what you can be making. So I'm going to be using the uh, folder from the Glistening Snowflake. So again, this is just an idea. So this is uh, what you'll be doing at the background just here. And then what we're going to do is obviously if you go for the bundle, you're seeing the other things that you can be making. So if I then, let's go back to that one there just so you can see. So that's oh, going yeah. to acetate all the way around. And again, so that was that one there. So this one's actually using a bit of the water press technique that I was uh, showing you earlier. 
so that you can see how we've then got some of the other ones from uh, the same uh, main collection Gorgeous. bundle. So from our uh, vintage Christmas. But then you maybe want to get a few from the uh, rose gold. So you can see that's what you could be making. And then we've even added in some of the crafty fun as well. Love it. So you could be that's doing great. exactly that. A lot of fun. So let's go for it. So we're going to pop them out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is um, then just going to bring in what I'm away to make. Now, I don't know who, but yeah. things seems to be going walkabouts oh, in here. Oh, no. And even now, Sparkle Pen have got, I'm blaming <coughs> Sarah. Sarah, do you want so, these Sparkle Pens from over here? Yeah, well, could I? Because uh, if I could get uh, the uh, cottage, because I've got a purple, but that's not really going to work. So, mm. um, so, so, I send yeah. the, so I send the coastal cottage over to you? Please, yes. And I'll right. give you an idea how to actually prime them as well, because that takes no time at all. Airmail. So, let's go. Way. So, there we go. What? So we Delicately delivered. So, we're going for the uh, coastal cottage. And then within this one, what we're going to do is we're going to use the sea spray for this one. So, actually, this one's been already primed. So, ah. there we go. Just to say... Is. I knew that you were going to need it, so whilst you were talking a minute ago, you I was busy it. priming it for you. Oh, thank you so much, Ben. Welcome. Thank you so much. So all you're going to do, just to prime it, is I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake. You would give it a shake a bit longer. And then all that we're going to do is just twist off the lid, that we can see there. Take off that yellow ring. You don't need that one. So that can just go in the bin. And then again, we're just going to twist it back into place. Till as far as it'll go. And again, we're just going to give that a shake just to kind of like activate it. Then all you're going to do is, you've got your brush, which is nice and white, it's nice and clean. And then you've got just an embossed word there, it says push. I know it's hard for you to see. So you're just actually, you're not going to push it, you're going to lightly press it a few times. And then you can see there how the ink is actually just coming through. So just press it very lightly a few times. And then you're just then going to go back and forth. And there you go, you can see your oh, ink yeah. already coming through. And that's you now good to go. That's your pen nice and primed. So we're going to be using the sea spray for this one. So let me just take that exit. Of course, you could come along and do any techniques just using that ink that was on there. But for speed, I'm going to take this one away. So then what I'm going to do is I've just got a piece of our watercolour card. Mm -hmm. And I've got some uh, water and just one of our brushes as well. All these other ones you can actually find on uh, the website. And then all that I'm going to do also is I've got just a bit of kitchen roll just to the side, just something with a bit of texture. It doesn't have to be kitchen roll, but if it's got a bit of texture to it, then that would be good. And then because it's watercolour card, I'm just going to go right over my actual cardstock and we're just going to lay that colour down. Now I've got a bit of ink on my hand, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to see that much. So just laying down that colour. Then again, let's just get the actual colour we're using, which is the sea spray. And then I'm just going to get that colour nice and flowing. And then what I'm just going to do again is just make sure that we're good to go, which we are. I'm going to press that lightly. And then I'm just, I'm still, I'm lightly pressing as I'm going. Yeah. And I'm not doing anything specific. I'm just pressing and I'm just going all over my cardstock. So we're kind of getting that kind of wavy look, squiggle look. And then what I'm just going to do is we'll do that just a few more, just to get a bit of colour down. Lay more colour down if you want it to be quite deep in colour, but I want it a lighter tone. Wet my brush, and then I'm just going to keep going back and forwards. And then this is then just going to, it's going to blend it out, but we're still going to get little streaks coming through, which is what I'm wanting, because we're wanting that icy cold look. But then what I'm going to do is I'm just bringing in my kitchen roll, and I'm just, just randomly, I'm just picking up some of that excess colour because it's still wet. And then that is then just going to give us that effect. However, what will happen is once it's dry, so we can uh, help it to dry. If you use your heat tool, if I'm, I'm not sure if it's plugged in, which here we go. If you use the heat tool, what will happen is you will dry it, but it will curl up, which is fine. Just lay something heavy on. If you leave it to dry naturally, it will dry flat. Yeah. But what I want to show you, we will get it a bit dry because although that I have kind of watered it down, and then I've also taken some of that colour off with my kitchen roll, you're still going to get some sparkle just absolutely bouncing through. So don't think just because you're diluting it that it's going to affect the sparkle, it won't. So we're just going to just get that bit dried off. I've got one already to the side of me, but I just wanted to show you this one just so that you could kind of see. 
more that dries, the more that sparkles. So then there we go. We're just going to keep going over the top. Then when it starts to buckle, just start to go over the back again. Is there um, a special way to store your sparkle pens, asks Alison. So just like our tri-blends, our classics, or even our ink pads, just lay them down flat, yeah. just like that one. So uh -huh. then that's why we've got our pen trays, because these will yes. also hold into our pen trays like with our classics. So just lay them flat, and then once you go to use them, just give them a, a bit of a shake to activate, and you're good to go. There you go. Uh, any more questions you want to pop uh, Craig's way before the end of the show, make sure you do, uh, and we'll, um, we'll get those to, uh, to Craig uh, before three o'clock. I can't believe what the time is already. Um, I'll tell you what as well, lots of tips right now on the, um, the Sparkle Pens with Craig. If you want more uh, that you can watch at your own leisure and at your own time, bottom of the screen just there, you can see your uh, Spectrum Sparkle video tutorial DVD. Better than half price. Sadly, only available here in the UK because uh, I know there's different regions, aren't there, when it comes to DVDs. Uh, but great, you know, again, if you are looking for little stocking fillers, I also think at this time of the year we have um, uh, sort of people perhaps who don't craft looking to shop for people in their lives who do craft. Uh, so that, again, if, it, if someone's into their colouring, that would be a perfect little stocking filler for £7. Uh, better than half price deal for you today. That's a good thing as well, Ben, is, you know, this time of the year, of course, you're always going to be looking for yourself, aren't you? But then what about for gifts as well? Yeah. Stocking fillers, secret Santas. Mm. But now I pretty much got this dry. And I'm, if I turn it that way, and then I'm go. going to lightly move it. Because I want you to see that you're still getting that sparkle through. Even into these lighter areas, you've got that intense sparkle. So I'm really going to bend it. Yeah. And then I'm just going to go back and forwards and then hopefully we can start to see that sparkle coming out. But now I'm going to be using that for obviously a frosty look, but then that could be the sky if you wanted to, if you've got any stamps you want to use, because you can still stamp onto this one. So let's take our folder. So we're using the Hello Winter uh, from the, but is it the Hello Winter? The uh, From the uh, Winter Autumn. Uh, Hello Winter. Hello Winter. Yeah. We are indeed. So yeah. this one again is a cut and emboss. So what happens is the word winter embosses, then you've got all this flourish that just actually die cuts out. These are awesome to keep a hold of and use as actual tuck-ins for your foliage, your snowflakes, they pop out as well. So I'm just, I'm still going to use this one because we're actually good and dry now. So what I'm then just going to do is I'm just going to pop this one into place just here. So if I go, uh, so that's the emboss. So we're going to go that way. And this one, just in case you wonder, I've cut this down to four and a half by six and a half inches. Okay, okay. And that's just going to cover just nicely. Close that one up, and then you're able to see if you want to then maybe maneuver it a bit more. But that's us now good to place within our base cutting uh, plate. I'm always just using my metal shim with our top plate. Again, just to reiterate, you don't have to use the metal shim, it's not essential, but if you like to just have that wee bit more uh, depth to your emboss, then just add it in, it's just going to help. So I'm then just going to take these ones out. Now, because we've done all that color ourselves, yeah. what you will then find, so if I take this out, so we have then got all these wee bits here, now, these bits, because these pop out, these are full snowflakes. And what oh, not only great. that, it's because you've coloured it, or I've yeah, coloured yeah. them, keep a hold of them. Use them elsewhere. So pop them all out. These all come out. You've got these little flourishes as well that you could be then actually adding as uh, accents behind any of your flowers mm. if you wanted to. So we're just going to pop these ones out. Got tiny little dots as well. So that can then replace your gems, your pearls, if you don't have any. So let's take all these bits out, poke them all out just here. Then what I've also already done is I've just done exactly the same by running this folder through black cardstock. Yeah. So it was just plain black cardstock that we've got on our website. I've not added any color to it. And then see all these bits we can then be using, all these little bits. So have a look to see what you've got within your folder that comes out that you can be using. So let's just take these bits out here. So then what I'm then just going to do, what we're keeping them for shaker elements as well. Yeah, absolutely. See, I think Why sometimes not? you think shaker elements have to be small little bits. Why not have little swirls and flourishes and uh, actual snowflakes? So I'm just going to move them to the side because I can be using them elsewhere another day. 
So I'm bringing in my card blank. Now, within this layer that I've just done here, because it's four and a half by six and a half, I've just taken some blue. This is from our 12 by 12 texture cardstock and a bit of black, just quarter of an inch increments when it comes to the mats and layers. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to layer this one up. Mm -hmm. So let's get the tape runner going. Now for this one, where it says winter, I'm not actually adding any additional colour to it. If you've got your gilding waxes, you could be using that one on. Because when it comes to up close, I can clearly see that it says winter. I know it might be a bit harder for you to see on screen, but you know, I can see, you know, if you give that to yeah, There we go, off, there you there go. Are, so we can do that one just there. Now we can add gilding wax. Uh -huh. Now, I think we've only got two though, haven't we? I think silver sold out, is oh, it? Oh, have they? You know, silver would, would look good. But then, do you know what? Let's, will we go, will we go all out? Will we do, I've got some antique here. Will, will we go all out and add a bit of antique to our uh, actual bluey Have silver? we only got those two colours remaining then, have we? The antique and the, uh, what was the other one? Renaissance? Oh, so all the others are gone because we had, I'm sure we had five variants, didn't we? I know, we did, didn't we? Yeah. So antique let's see what this left. looks like. Because I've never done like an antique on top of uh, a white blue. Oh, here so we go. So let's just go. So just with my finger, I'm just lightly, very, very lightly, just going to go over the top of the winter. And then that's just going to enhance the lettering even more. Love it. So I'm just going to go around the actual uh, area of the word. So we're just picking that one up and then what we're going to do, I'll bring this in just so that you can see how it just stands it, although you can see straight away from Yeah, here. right, you can. And actually, if anything, I think that works really, really well. I think that antique and the Renaissance would work really well as well. So I'm just going to leave that bit at that bit. That bit at that bit? That bit at that I'm bit. I'm going to leave that bit there. Yep. So then even from up above, you can see how well yeah. that looks. What I'd also done is using black cardstock that I just said, I ran it through again, but what I've done is I kept all these little bits. So we've kept a hold of all these ones just here. And then what we can then do is bring this back in. Now this is something, if you don't have a lot of patience, you might not want to do this. If you're like me, which I know a lot of you are that do have a lot of patience, all that I'm just doing is I'm just going in with my tacky glue. So this is just our Collal tacky glue and I'm just adding that into the middle. And then I'm just taking some of these bits off. So I've just lightly taped them down with some masking tape. And then I'm just oh, going cool. to just pop these yeah. ones back in. So I've left them so that they're black. So it just uh, coordinates with your black, your yeah, black yeah. layer on the back. But you could do this with a darker blue if you wanted to, maybe white, it's up to yourself. So I'm just going to just press a few of these in just there. Let's do, a swirl there and we'll do this swirl here and then I've got them all nicely secured and taped here so let's bring that one in and then that one can then just sit nicely into the middle so hmm. again we're making now another feature it's now pulling your eye into the winter word and then let's bring in our next one and then we're just going to place that one in lots of love for this technique coming in on the socials by the way uh, Mary's saying, love it, really makes it pop more. I think it's great, isn't it? So you're keeping all of the little bits that you've cut out from other cardstock, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So this could even be little bits of card. It doesn't necessarily have to be the whole folder. No. You could just, let's, for instance, let's bring the folder in again. Let's see if we've got a bit of cardstock just here. So this could be, now I know this is just copper, but just for an example. So you might just have a little slither of cardstock left over like this. Yeah. And maybe you just want some of these parts on the top. Uh, so all you okay. need to do is just run that one through. Yeah. Now that's good to then use up your bit boxes or that as well. You might just want some of these little bits. So mm. if you've only got small cardstock, then you can do that as well. So don't always just think of them as using them the way they're kind of intended. You know, see why, where else in the folder that you could just pick out bits and use. Mm. So I'm just going to then just tape that one down and that one down. So what I'm then just going to do is you could then carry on if you wanted to and add other parts on. Let's just for a speed or time and speed, let's just do a snowflake there, there, 
there hmm. and then into that one. Ingrid says, love paper piecing, very, ther very therapeutic, unless you're impatient <laughs> or uh, you're under time constraints because you're on TV. Yes, I know. Tend to uh, do the uh, shorter bits. I would tend to go into these little swirls as well, but at least in this way, it gives you the idea and it is so therapeutic. If you like to sit down, relax, but maybe fussy cutting isn't your thing, yeah. then try paper piecing. That really is a, a, a mind relaxing and body relaxing thing to do, in my opinion. So let's just press that one down so we can move these ones out the way. And again, what I'm also going to say, don't just think that this is now five by seven. Don't just think you have to have this on a five by seven card blank. Make it bigger and have white space. Don't be scared of white space. And what I mean by that is just bringing in an A5 card blank. And I'm just going to pop that one into the middle just there. And I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, some people would see that white space and, you know, just maybe keel over because they're like, it's too much white. I can't deal with that. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. You know, it kind of then frames your uh, sentiment as well as the mats and layers that you've done. But then there we go. So we've got winter. Bring in any other sentiments that you've got at home. Maybe personalise it with your alphabets if Love you it. wanted to. But then there we go. Another style. Fantastic. Another great card uh, and lots of lovely, lovely messages coming in. Pamela saying, I used that die yesterday and went over the word with clear sparkle pens. There you go. Another great way to be able to use it. Another great way to be able to kind of add your own touch to it. Uh, and Pamela saying, uh, Craig's demos are awesome. Would never have put black with the pale blue, yet he makes it look so good. Give it a go. Yeah, try some new things out. Improvise just a little bit. Uh, and Alison saying, I will have to give this card a try today. Gorgeous card as always, Craig says. Barbara. Right, um, time to check out your baskets if you have got stuff in them and uh, if you are still having to think what you might want to get your hands on, let's give you a reminder as to what else we've got on the show. Uh, this is the uh, Sara Signature Cut and Emboss Folder Collection uh, which shows you the uh, the winter cut and emboss folder which um, Craig was just showing us there. Comes with your rose gold and your crafty fun embossing filter tool. Uh, £29 or $36 on that one, saving 25%. These sparkle pens are just something else, aren't they really? So, so gorgeous. Uh, once you get them back, don't forget to prime them and away you go. You're getting six different colours within each of the sets. The Coastal Cottage brings you your linen, your peach tree, your sea spray, pistachio, cornflower blue and magnolia. You've also got your spring summer with uh, your solar red and emerald green, blue topaz, soft jade, moonlight and pink champagne. And then you finally got your autumn winter, which is your smoke quartz, your starry sky, holly leaf, olive jade, red berry, and harvest moon. Uh, 48.98 or 65.90. Um, kind of works out, as I say, it's almost like you're getting one free there because it should be normally 75 pounds or almost a hundred dollars on that collection. Uh, the Vintage Christmas, uh, once again, all about the cut and emboss folder today on our masterclass. You've got your elegant holly and that festive frame as well. Really, really gorgeous. So if you are still into your uh, your Christmas crafts or you're looking for some last minute inspiration, those are absolutely gorgeous and will be a, a real winning formula for you. £22 or $25 on that, saving 15%. And if you uh, are after your accessories, we've got a great little blending bundle as well, which comes with your uh, brayers. It also comes with your um, your dobas, your dobas, 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 whatever you call them. Uh, you've got your little spritzers there as well, and your little palette included too. Uh, it's thirty pounds or forty dollars today uh, if you want to add that one into your basket. Um, Let's just give you a reminder of some of the other goodies that we've got on the show as we head into sort of the last 10 minutes. Time is a flying away here. We will try and get another demo in um, with Craig. These are proving very, very popular indeed. The uh, six piece collection, the everyday collection. So th the bundle is obviously where the main value for money is for you. But if you want to go for these uh, individually or as a multi buy, you've got the ability to do that as well. Uh, but the six piece collection uh, brings you the uh, the beautiful home. I think we've all agreed that that is an absolute favorite of ours. There you go, details on the bottom of your media screen now uh, for the multi by two for 20 pounds or $23. Uh, then you've got friend as well. So it's giving you that beautiful embossed. If I just tilt that back there, you can see all of the wonderful detailing. And then you've got the beautiful uh, friend as the center there as well. Then you've got the thank you. Again, plenty of beautiful embossing detail there too uh, with the uh, thank you. Then we've got your birthday. I mean, how many times are you going to, you're going to use this over and over again? And just something very, very different indeed, isn't it? Really love the font on that one too. That's included in the bundle. 
Then you've got your um, congrats. Again, hopefully you can see uh, the detail that you're gonna get through that folder as well. And then last, but by no means least, um, we saw this a little bit earlier on. If you have just joined us, um, you'll be able to uh, see this demo earlier on in the show, probably about 40 minutes ago or so, uh, we saw Craig demoing with the uh, Love Cut and Emboss folder. That six piece collection is 46 pounds or $53, or as we said, if you wanna go for the multi-buy, uh, 20 pounds or $23, um, if you wanna go for two of those. Okay, um, let's go back over to Craig, because we have got time to squeeze in another demo. Are we going to be looking at the everyday collection? We are indeed. Now, I can't remember who it was that I'd asked, but we're going to use the thanks. Oh, yeah. We're going to do that one. We're going to use the uh, inks. We're going to use the honey pot again for this one because it's what reactive. And we're going to use a bit of the spritz bottle as well just to pull a bit of colour up. So we'll pull it all together. June. June. Yep. So there we go. Thank you, June. We're going to use the thank you. Thank you, June. Thank you, June. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, June. Thanks. So we've got our folder here. Now I've got a bit of watercolour card again, six and a half by four and a half inches. Now the reason it's that size is because, uh, sorry, the reason it's watercolour is because we're going to spritz some water onto it. So then what I'm just going to do first is laying the colour down. And again, this is another good one where, you know, you don't need to worry too much at being precise. So we're just going to really just play with the colour by getting it onto our actual card. So we're just going to go right over the top. If you wanted to incorporate some other colours, maybe like the oranges, maybe you've got some of the others at home. Why not? Yeah. But what we're then going to do is we're just going to lay all of that down. And then what we're then just going to do is bring in our spritz bottle. So if I bring this one in, so it's just water we've got in here. And then I'm just going to just spritz over the top. Then what you can even do is spritz onto your hand and just flick, and because it's water reactive, what it's doing is the water, it's, kind of, it's called a faux bleaching effect. Oh, yeah. So it's, the water's actually pulling up Clever. the ink. The longer you leave it, the more of the faux bleaching effect that happens. So, you know, we're not going to leave it too long because obviously the time is against us. So, you know, you could go and make a cup of tea or, you know, go and text someone or chat to someone or watch whatever you're watching on the TV but a bit longer but then what I'm just going to do is bring in some kitchen roll you can use some cardstock for what I'm away to do and then you can then use the cardstock that's pulled up the colour but I'm just dabbing that down and I'm just using kitchen roll for the time but look at that. oh yes now again if I'd left that longer if I spritz more you're going to get a different look a different effect a different design you can see they are so simple. Mm. How many times have you seen that sort of look and effect in a paper pad? And you can now do it with your do it yourself. And which get is a so unique quick finish every time. Exactly. Every single time. So what I will just need to do with this one is just dry this off slightly. What was that one you just used there? Someone's asking, was that the lemon tonic? So that was uh honey pot. Honey pot, honey yeah. pot. Did yeah. I see lemon tonic? No, I don't think you did. I don't think no. you, I don't know if you said what it was. Uh so yeah, honey pot that I've used from our water reactive. Again, it could be any of your uh, colours. I do suggest uh, if you're doing these techniques, use the water reactive, uh, hence the name, and your quick dry, again, hence the name, dries really, really quick. So, you know, they are worthwhile actually getting. If you've never tried our water reactive again, perfect time for actually yeah. uh, giving them a wee shot. So just drying that one off. So then there we go. I would maybe dry it off just a little bit longer, but we're not going to be adding any other colour on, so I will be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to then just turn this one around. So again, I'm just doing it back to front. This side here, we've got the embossed uh, look just here, the embossed detail. So I'm just going to place that one on, again, kind of like within the centre, and we're just going to close that. I'm just going to straighten that up slightly. And then as we run that one through, same, uh, let's just... Too pernickety, Ben, that's what I am. There we go. Too what? Too pernickety. Oh, pernickety. Pernickety. What a great yes. word that is. I've not heard that in ages. Have you not? That Too pernickety. pernickety. Yeah. yeah. But there yeah. we go. So it's, that's then going to go through. So just like you've seen all through, whether it's the apertures, whether it's the uh, everyday, what's going to happen is it's then going to pull out all of those words. And because we've also added coloured first, it means then all the words, all the letters that pop out are then going to be able to be oh, used. Yes. Uh, elsewhere. Yeah. I'm not going to use them for this one, but then it just goes to show now you've got thanks in that effect that we've just done with the honey pot. You can be using that wherever you like. But this is what we're going to be using. And then I'm going to bring in our card blank. So this one was seven inches 
by, well, seven inches by 10 inches. Yeah. And then what I've just done is folded it in half. So it's seven by five. And then I folded it again just to create an easel card. So you can see from up above, that is the look that we're getting. Cool. Then on another bit of white, smooth cardstock, I've just gone around the edges with the honey pot, just with a bit of color, no uh, distress and nothing like that. And then we're just going to add that to the base. So I've already got my tape on. So we can then just tape this one on. And then what we're then going to do is with another bit of craft card that I've got to the side of me, I've got this layer here. So I've got my craft card, which is just uh, a quarter of an inch bigger than our uh, thanks. Yeah. And again, I've got this onto a bit of white card because then that is then going to sit on top there to create our easel card that you can see from above. But what I want to do is I want to change the color within the middle. So either die cut again and paper piece them back in or just add a different color bit of cardstock. Oh yeah, that's behind brilliant. It. So again, perfect for uh, your scrap box. How many of you at home have got scraps that size? I know I do. And then for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dotty tape runner for this one. And I'm going to go straight over the back like that. Then if we bring this one back in, place that one over the top just there. So we've now got that gold sentiment shining through. So then let's just tape our tape, take our tape runner. That was a mouthful. And that can go all the way around. And then that can then layer on top of our craft card. Make sure I've got that the right way because I've got my tape on the back. So sit that one on like that one. And then what I can then do, add this on to my easel. So this can then go like that. Uh -huh. There. And then to create the stopper, I've just taken just a strip of white card also gold and craft just to tie it in yeah now i'm going to pop this on flat because what i've also done is i've popped some petals these are from hunky dory you'll find them on the website that's then just going to sit in place there what's going to happen is these petals will create the stopper but then just to take it one step further keep it a bit autumn themed yeah i'm bringing in some uh, holly oh, so lovely. if you've got sharon Callis's latest collection yeah love that i've just created some of these holly uh components i'm then just going to use our glue gel so that can then go into the top corner there and then this one you can either use this as a stopper yeah. underneath but because i've got the perils i'm not going to I'm going to pop that one just there and then I'm just going to add this one on just popping these little bits I won't add them all on but then this just goes to show although we're doing thank you to someone for whatever reason why not theme it so if you're sending someone a thank you around Christmas time mm. why not make it Christmas themed it might not be a thank you for anything to do with Christmas but just keeping within the season or you know fall autumn Thanksgiving so there we go. So we're giving thanks. There we are. So I'll just pop that one. Leave it like that one. Gorgeous. So we've got the thanks. Turned into an easel. That could be a flat card if yeah. you wanted to. But it's an easel card. And the little perils is actually holding it into place like that. Hey, I tell you what. It's safe to say we've had some fantastic demos over the course of the last couple of hours, haven't we? Um, Carol saying these folders make really nice impressions and great cards. Beautiful yellow on that card, Craig. Uh, Sue says, Craig makes it look so easy. Mine never looked like that, lol. I'm sure, I'm sure, Sue, you're doing yourself down. I'm sure they look great. Uh, and Pam, what you're doing on YouTube says, great card, love water reactive. Yeah, some brilliant demos. Don't forget if you have missed any of the demos which Craig has shown you um, over the last two hours, you can watch this show back. So uh, do, do scooch back because I tell you what, there have been some brilliant, brilliant demos um, on this show. Uh, and a lot of work as well with the um, ink pad collection. This has been a, a real superstar, uh, including, uh, thank you. Uh, including your uh, beautiful parakeet and oasis. Love the Chinese red, the orange in there as well. Fuchsia, pink, you've got your plum uh, vine in there, Bordeaux, you've got your damsons in there too. Uh, of course, you've got your um, honey pot, which we just saw with the sandstorm as well. Some really gorgeous color choices in here. And I love the fact as well that you've kind of got your little perfect pairings within each of the, um, the 12 that you've got within this. £46 or $60, it is a 23% saving and 
60% of the stock has gone. So uh, if you're thinking, shall I, shan't I? It is time to uh, make your mind up as far as they are um, concerned. Um, thank you so much for all of the lovely um, comments coming through. Mainly, um, all loving Craig's demos. I mean, all of, I mean, all the comments are loving Craig's demos, but the majority of the comments. No, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Uh, what I mean is, there's lots of comments coming through, but the main comments are all about Craig's lovely demos. I think you've had a great show today. Um, some lovely, lovely demos. Uh, thank you very much, Ben. But you know what? I do need a bit of steering in the right direction. Couldn't do it without you. Of course. Oh. Well, today we've got Laura and Adam in the gallery as yes. well. So certainly a team effort. So thank you for that. Uh, I am in an hour or so. I'm going to wait a hot foot at just next door across yeah. the HSN. Whoa. On HSN through uh, the rest of the day. And then uh, I will be back all day on Wednesday. I'm going to be here for uh, two of the uh, Crafters TV shows, so that's going to be a great day, and uh, I can't wait to see you then. So if you're crossing the States, I'll see you uh, throughout the rest of the day. If not, I'll see you on Wednesday. Oh, you're so busy, busy boy then. So while I'm in here at four, you're going to be in the, in the other studio. I am indeed. Yeah. Make sure you keep the noise down, yeah? I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> no uh, singing from you. No. Oh, singing? Me? No party dancing from you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think HSN are ready for that yet. No. Um, thank you for tuning in to us. Yes, you can catch Craig over on uh, HSN. I will be back here in, yeah, about an hour's time with uh, Debbie Fisher. Monday Makers is here. So uh, whichever you choose, uh, you're going to be inspired. You're going to see some great demonstrations as well. Uh, we have got the Garden of Love coming up at four o'clock. Uh, and oh yes, also some beautiful wreaths as well. So if you're thinking about uh, making those uh, in time for uh, Christmas, some great ideas coming up uh, for you uh, in just a little bit. So Craig, we'll see you over there. I'll see you on here uh, and we'll be back in an hour. Bye for now.